we're gonna go solve some Mr. Beast today, maybe. As a frog. <laughs> frog is deceptive, the entire mystery. I believe it was re uh, it was released in uh, three parts originally. Let's do the whole thing. I know because uh, I go to add the category on Twitch and it doesn't have like a category for the entire mystery. It's just episode one, two, or three. So, um, you know, I, I picked episode one, but, you uh, know. Maybe if I see, maybe if I obviously pops up something like episode two starts now or whatever, I'll switch to the game category. Otherwise, you know, how will I be able to tell? I'm not psychic, right? Regardless. Tonight, we solve mysteries, right? I presume we are a frog and a detective. Uh, let's go solve some mysteries, shall we? Let's press the button. Play options, credits. Uh, I presume subtitles will be automatic. Language. Video. Field of view 60. Hmm. You can adjust field of view. I gotta say that. Higher, higher field of view is always uh, better for me. I like having more field of view. And throw our buttons. We'll see about all that. I'll do about that. Pretty sure about the field of view though. The higher the better, right? Well, I guess there. I guess there's a, such a thing as too high, but still. All right, play. Let's go. Let's go solve some mysteries, baby. Oh, so you just choose it? Okay. It'll be quick and easy to change the category. When we go to the next one. Case one, the haunted island, huh? Let's do it. Perfect for uh, this time of year, since it's almost Halloween, right? You have separate options? I think it would be the same, wouldn't it? Yeah, it saves the settings. I would guess I'm the guy on the left. I know who this dude is on the right. Somebody wearing a crown. There must be a king, right? We shall see. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go. Let's do it. Loaded. Whoa, he's got to walk. Whoa, is it first person? I didn't know it was going to be first person. I don't know anything about it except it's relatively short and it looked cute. And sleeping gay past the end of the month. That's, I don't think I know about this guy. You're a dancing little dinosaur, Dino. Hope you enjoyed your ads. Look around using right stick, move using left stick. Whoa. Shadows don't exist in this game. Well, I guess they kind of do. Interact using A. Ring, ring. Detective, huh? What was a frog detective gonna sound like? The whole series or just first game? It's the whole series. All three episodes. <laughs> There's no uh, game category on Twitch for all three, though, so. I have to switch the category when I do the next episode, if I remember, which uh, probably won't. <laughs> Doom, 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 doom. Hello, who is it? I mean, you're asking a question. Where's my question marks? Supervisor. Oh my gosh. It's the supervisor. Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's life? Making small talk. Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Ah! Well... I'm not going to pronounce any of this shit right. Selamat datang kembali. Yeah, I can totally pronounce that right. That means welcome back, I think. Thanks. Anyway. What are you calling about? Oh, right. I have a case for you. Cool. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing a ghost for about two weeks. 
So, get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? Good question. I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. No shit. wonder why. They've been on the island for two weeks. Oh. The ghost is still at large. So, the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help, and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available. Damn, that's so mean. That is the best guy. Oh, by the way, that's not you. So I'm asking you, the second best investigator. I fully understand. Lobster Cop's abilities far outweigh my own. <gasps> what? Where's my confidence? Yeah, but you're pretty good. So, are you up for it? I don't know. It sounds very scary. I'll have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I needed to hear. Thank you, supervisor. I'll do it. Wahoo! Who says that? Nobody says that. Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. The basics are... There's a sloth who is hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why did you yell the haunted island like that? Because that's the title of this case. Fair enough. It's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. See you later, Supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. Why are you yelling at me in all caps? Why are you doing that? Probably need a prompt. Let's try to see if I turn on light. What's that? Whoa! We have an, um, uh, uh, a party at some place with a crab or something. And some fish. And uh, I don't know what's going on there. Oh, yes. My trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. Woohoo! Wow, got our first achievement. Picked it up. Good detecting friend. Yeah, we packed up our magnifying glass. Look through your magnifier with RT. Whoa. Hey, look at this stuff now. Whoa. You get dizzy no time, right? Time to solve a mystery. No, we're doing swag walk. Ooh, pretty. Intro. Ah, from the truck driver adventure. Rated, rated, the, uh, uh, not even cartoon versions. Hey, so I thought the dialogue, just, uh, just literal JPEGs. With the background's cropped out. All right. No, then. Wave ha. What's up, buddy? Headfoot! Mystery monkey. Hi, you finally made it! Thanks for coming up on- or fr thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Wow, that's very kind of you. When you figured out who was behind the forest theft in Witchtown, I couldn't believe it. 
I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? A lumberjack? Oh, you've been following my blog posts? Yes, I'm Mystery Monkey 49. I comment all the time. I even made a funny joke once and you responded. Of course, I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49. Please, Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me Mystery Monkey. Of course, can I ask you some questions about this case? Questions, yes. I like the notes. Hmm, maybe a man in a suit. <laughs> hey, Frere, what's up? What's happening? How's it going? Meow, meow, meow. That's right, it's me, it's me. Hope you're having a good Friday night. Wait, we're, we're, we're a frog detective and we're going to solve some mysteries tonight. Maybe, probably, most likely. What would you like to know? Hmm, how about the resident? May I ask who the resident of this island is? Ah, that'd be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghost can't catch him there. I mean, it's a ghost. Hmm, very interesting. I'll investigate. I'm gonna graze it out if you picked it. That's good to know. Help keep you track of what you already tried. Where to start? Who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already. Okay, who should I talk to second? Hmm. Larry, the tall red one. He always wants to meet new people. Although... I think mostly he wants new people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. I'll check it out. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Nothing right now. I think I'll come back later after some investigation. See you around. All right, monkey boy. Hmm. That's a, that's a, that's a starfish, all right. We're not going to talk. I don't know who Larry is. Not this guy. This is Kobala, huh? Creative name. Hi. Howdy. What are you doing in there? Swimming. But there's a storm. Eh, it's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea. But it's safer in here than it is up there. Why's that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said. You don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. Sorry to hear it. Thanks. <laughs> May I ask why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. Question marks? Side quest unlocked. I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well... Go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. And what does that accomplish? Well, why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. Uh, that's true. You ever seen a koala move around? They're, like, they're not, not quite as slow as the sloth, though, right? They ain't no speedsters. By holding on to the magnet, I'll be really fast, too. Yeah, but why do you need a magnet for that? Why not, like, just like a surfboard attached to a boat or some shit? Nice! Right? I don't have any idea where to find one, though. And even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything you need to know? The magnet! Why did you want that magnet again? So I can attach it to the back of a boat and zoom along, obviously. Ah, right. If it sweetens the deal, I can give you this big shell in return. The thing you got in your left hand? I thought it might be magnetic, but it's not. 
Why would you think a shell was magnetic? How was I supposed to know? What am I, a scientist? The, the, I mean, I guess that's a good point. If you like never seen a shell before in your life, you wouldn't know whether it was magnetic or not, right? I... Okay. A ghost! What can you tell me about the ghost? Well, not much, I guess. I heard noises coming from the holes around the island. They freaked me out so badly that I grabbed my floaty and got in here. How long have you been in the water for? Mm, maybe two weeks? How are you still alive, man? Whoa! Are your feet wrinkly? You? I don't know. You should check. Maybe later. Uh, I'll, I'll be more concerned about how are you still alive. Not right now. Nothing for the moment, but I'll come back. Sure thing. Hello, people. Is this... Wait, what? So it's a hole or something? I can't get any further down. I was... I don't know. I couldn't tell what it was. Hello, buddy. Oh, this is Larry. Larry the Lobster, right? Ha 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 ha. Hi, it's me, Larry. Oh, I did not do it. Huh? The noises are not coming from me. I didn't. I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. That's like more suspicious somehow. Yep. What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard. I just... I don't like being accused like this. I'm not accusing you. Oh, you're not? It's such a relief. <laughs> Can I... Are you going to ask me questions? Yeah. Ask them. The, ask me them. <laughs> the questions, I mean. The noises! What can you tell me about the noise? Firstly, I am not the one making them. Yep. But I know where they're coming from. <gasps> what? They're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. I mean, you don't let anybody talk, so that probably kills anyone's interest in talking to you if you just constantly interrupt, so... See, that's what I was just saying. They say stuff like, Well, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. Which is so weird, because I do listen. Maybe they may- I am a really great listener. So how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things. To get through th there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of this is safe. Anyway, I'll need a few things. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients then. Yeah, sure. Just a standard explosive recipe. Yes, if you want to get into that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Hmm. Ingredients! Yeah, why pasta? Can you list it? I didn't even get to finish that. Toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Thanks! Wait, 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 what was that? 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 What's this supposed to be? Can you list the ingredients for the explosive device again? It's ripped. It's just like, I didn't need to wait for you to finish. Explosion! Let's make some dynamite. Not yet, detective. You still need toothpaste, some wool, a chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Thanks. That's, that's these have pretty much become the same thing. Nothing right now. I'm good, thanks. 
Yeah, the less I talk to you, the happier I'll be. You keep interrupting me. What the heck? French fries. Oh, wait, that's pasta. Bernie the Bear, huh? Hey, you're that detective, right? The one that mo monkey keeps going on about? That's me! I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really shouldn't have taken this job. Why did you take it? I'll be honest. I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? The job listing said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? One that only smart people could figure out. Like me. It still could be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh no. You're right. I better look competent. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions about the case? What else do you want to know? About this hole. What do you know about the noises coming from this hole? I mean, I'm not great at this job. I'd be good at other jobs, I'm just letting you know. But, it does seem like the noises coming from this hole aren't from a natural creature. They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call. But only sometimes. Wow, that's a lot of good information. Thanks. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. Ernie, I'm not a secret agent. Uh-huh. Doesn't believe me. Doesn't believe me. Secret agent! You mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? Um, secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you've got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you're not. Bernie winks. <coughs> da, da, da. Even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I'd give up for a magnifying glass. There's nothing I want more. Interesting. Mm. Nothing right now. Or magnifying. I don't want to give up my magnifying glass yet. I'll come back with some questions later. Suit yourself. Am I supposed to give up my cool magnifying glass immediately? Probably have to trade it for the pasta. Yum. But it's not mine. Damn. How about it? Crocodile or alligator? Which one? Fresh X. That's like some hip youngster name or something. Howdy! Hello, why did I lie down on the other towel? <laughs> Are you the, uh... Yep! Great! You brought my toothpaste shipment? No, but you've got one right there, don't you? Huh? Uh, no? I'm the detective. Oh, okay. Can I call you D-Tech? Yes. Nice. I have some questions. Is that okay? Take it away, D-Tech. You're close. Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. I've been working so hard for the last two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. You're right. Isn't it storming, though? Uh, not about the sun. About taking the day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. I already questioned you on your day off. Your smile. You look very happy. I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have wonderful teeth. Exclamation points. Thank you. I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smile's 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth. Trademark, of course. <laughs> we gotta do the entire thing all over again. Wait, 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 wait. 
Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth Trademark? I get a shipment here every three days. I go through the stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last tube. Wow, where can I get some of my own? Do... Do you have teeth? Um, well, I could give you my tube. But I would need something else to keep my mouth fresh. I'll think about it. Can I ask you some more questions? Hmm, nothing right now. I'll come back later with some questions. See ya, D-Tech. I'm a frog don't have teeth. What's this? A buddy. What you doing? You a bogo. Hey, hermit. What's up? What's up? How's it going? I don't know. I, I has no jump button. I must walk around. We'll talk to everybody and then we'll. Nice cave. Figure this out, right? You got your own magnifying glass, I see. Put that kung fu pose. Orbit. Ah! Stop right there! Exclamation points! Why? My shells! Don't step on my shells! Oh, I won't. We can't be sure of that! I guess not. They're very fragile and small. Aren't we all? I guess. Please be careful. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. Are you still going to stand like that? Yeah. Why? I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I am protecting my shells. From dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry. I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but... What shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me questions. Just be careful. Um, alright. You're good, thanks. This game's so cute. You're playing through them too before it leaves Game Pass? Yeah! We're not, I'm playing through it before it leaves Game Pass. It looked cute. It's pretty short. I was like, let's do it. Let's do it. That's what I usually do if something is leaving Game Pass and it's pretty short and it's cute looking. I was like, let's do it. Let's do it. A cave, huh? The one behind me. Do you know anything about that cave? Huh? What? No. I'm not even sure it's a cave. Just looks like a pile of rocks, if you ask me. It's a cave for sure. Well, I guess we'll just agree to disagree. It's literally a confirmed cave. Potato, potato. Nobody pronounces it like potato. That's true. I do. You're just saying that, man. You're just saying that to... You're just saying that. Really? Yeah. You, nah, I don't buy it. You're bullshitting me. Fair enough. Well, I'm gonna take your word for it, huh? Tiny shells. Why don't you just get a bigger shell? You fool. Hey. Sorry. It's just that there's not many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass would be useless to me. But I don't see a big shell around here. Do you? Hmm. I saw one from the Kawara dude. Nothing right now. I'll come back later. You tried headbangers is quite fun too. I have not. That's definitely a confirmed cave. Hey, Woo Up. What's up? What's up? How's it going? How you doing tonight? What's back here? Can I go in the water? What? Hey! I saw somebody peeking out. 
think I can go, only go this far. Somebody was peeking out from over there. Can't go up there. I saw that though. I don't know who, but I saw it. Mo. That was pretty quiet. Hi. Hello. Are you okay? Yes. <clears throat> Are you sure? Well, I have just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. I don't want to be embarrassing. He's like, what? If I am embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing. That's very good news. But the conversation isn't over. There's still time. I have to be careful. Oh. Well, is it okay if I ask some questions? You have some questions? Questions, yes. You're nervous. I like how the font always floats around like it's go spooky. You seem very nervous. May I ask why? Uh, because of the detective thing. I told you. Um, I'm afraid of detectives. Why? Maybe when I was a kid I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that. I don't know. I'm sorry to hear about that dream. It sounded more like speculation. What? Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So, why are you so afraid of me? <clears throat> it's the standoff. Fine! You've worn me down. Damn your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. Huh? Mystery Monkey is a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mystery Monkey is super neat. And I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Oh. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing. But I don't know what style of dance will impress them. Could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I can give you this mouse wash, mouth wash in return. Mouse wash, mouth wash. That's a fucking tongue twister right there. Sure thing. I'll do my best. You're all right, woo up. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. You're feeling better. That's good. That's good. We're playing a mystery game tonight. Before it leaves Game Pass. We're gonna solve some mysteries. If I find out about this mysterious ghost. Definitely not whoever was peeking out around that rock or anything. What can you tell me about the ghost? There's a ghost? Hmm? Huh? Aren't you a ghost scientist? Oh! Ghost scientist! Not toast scientist. Makes so much more sense. You thought you were a toast scientist? Yeah, I only took the job because, you know. Question mark? Uh, you know. You wanted some free toast? Because you like toast. <laughs> yeah. What have you been doing this whole time? Not thinking about ghosts, that's for sure. How spooky. So you haven't heard any weird noises? Oh, for sure. He heaps of weird noises. I don't think they're coming from a ghost, though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around as if a ghost was holding it. That happens in the movies. I'll keep an eye out, though. Sure thing. Hmm. <laughs> That bottle! Wait, you wanted to trade it, right? What's in that bottle next to you? That's my mouse wash, mouth wash. I'm happy to give it to you if you can find out what type of dance style Mystery Monkey likes the best. 
I'll get to it. Thanks. <laughs> Nothing right now. I'll come back later. We gotta figure out what 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 each person wants. What a trade? Is that a broom? Or a rake? Ooh, a broom. Got a broom. Oh my gosh. I'm just stealing brooms. What you up to, buddy? Ah, buddy. I don't think anybody needed a broom yet. But you never know. It's my bed. Apparently it is my bed. I can just go lay in someone else's bed. It's always good to take a rest. You see. Morton? This is the sloth, right? What? Who are you? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the frog detective. Here from the agency. Oh, okay. Don't sneak up on me like that. I was visible for the entire approach. Well, fine. I guess just don't look so spooky. Okay, I'll do my best. Sorry I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. Yeah. I'm Martin, king of the island. You're a king? Well, when I got here, there was nobody else on the island except for me and Finley. Oh, he's... He's made himself king. I thought it was fine to declare myself king. Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. No, I meant to ask, who's Finley? Oh, okay then. <laughs> do, 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 do. do you mind if I ask a few questions? Go ahead. Got questions for me? Dance competition. You mentioned the dance competition. Can you tell me a little more? It's tomorrow. Anything else? Best dancer wins. Okay. Wow, amazing. Who's Finley? You mentioned your friend Finley. Who's that? Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. The last time I saw Finley, she was talking about the song she wanted to dance to for the competition. Her moves were pretty amazing. Not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's probably still prepping for the competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete... What with this whole spooky situation going on? Martin sighs. <sighs> so tragic. Noises! Can you tell me about the noises and where they're coming from? I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide, Foolproof Ways to Detect a Spirit. I read most of it. Anyway, in the book it says that most ghosts can't be seen. And get this, I haven't seen a single ghost yet. The proof is all there. Sure, your nerves... You seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? It's just the ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kind of annoyed too, because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all about them on the cyberweb.com. But now, I'm living one. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of things. Bottom of the grave, more like. What? That made more sense in my head. I guess I mean, like, we'll probably die before the mystery is solved. That's very dark. I thought this was a kid's game. Dark? Just like the conclusion to this tale. 
Sorry if I'm being dramatic. You know I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've taken on. Except the mystery of how to put a hat on. My head is a strange shape. It really is. You'd have to get like a little tiny hat and put it between your eyes or something. The point is, you're safe. I'm going to find the culprit. The best thing you can do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. I don't feel okay. I'm finding it really hard to calm down. I understand. Ghosts are scary. But it might not be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? I don't know for sure. Oh. Let's try a visualization exercise. What's a visual... This is an exorcism? It's a thing where we pretend. Imagine. You're on a beach, surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in and then out. It is a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. No, oh, the ghost is on holiday. Oh, okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize what we're, that we're on a road trip instead? But the ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. Anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghosts around at all. A ghost is on a road trip. Yep, nothing to fear. A nice sandy beach. Just me and the ocean. <laughs> How do you feel? So relaxed. It worked real well. Great, me too. Thanks so much, detective. That's okay. I want to give you something as thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crown. Got a chunk of pure gold. Wow, that's so kind. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Why? I like gold. Okay. Hmm. Now I got the pure gold for the explosive or something, right? Not at the moment. No more questions right now. No questions for the time being. No problemo. We're gonna sleep again. This is this all. It's the same dialogue as before. I was hoping he'd say something like, Stop sleeping, you slacker. Get out of bed right now. You got a mystery to solve. Well, alright. Oh, snake. Lower. Hmm, I started over there. There's a lab. There's a magnet. No, some whole noises need some... Oh, okay, it's like half a word and then the rest of the words. Need some tomatoes for soup. Who is ghosts? I'm not qualified. That's not how you spell qualified, but okay. This might come in handy. Got a magnet. That's right. What's this? Who took my sunglasses? Give back. Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts like in Scooby Doo. Scooby Scooby Doo, where were you? Crab. Hello, crab. Is this another hole? Science line, don't go in. Hmm. Can't go back there. Hello, person. Noodle. 
Hey! How's it hanging? Eh, fine, I guess. Bored, mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Really, you can't just say I'm suspicious. There's no rule against it. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. Not now, though. I have been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross! I know. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Ooh, I mean, we did need some wool for uh, explosive, right? Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages. It's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I'm usually getting cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck, it's so gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings. But there's wool everywhere. I think everyone is grossed out by it. Ah, uh, surely that's not true. Eh, maybe not. But it feels true in my heart. I think most people like wool. It's used for so much stuff. Like what? My jumper is made out of wool. <laughs> Are you for real? Yeah. That's weird. It's weird that you're wearing my hair. Wool is pretty gross. That's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool is gross at all. Okay, but what if I wore a coat made out of your slime? What? Ew. Gross, right? Sure, but... Slime is kinda gross anyway. But I'm saying that as someone who's very slimy. Wool is worn by most people. This is the first time I've heard of someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is wool. What? I'm wearing another sheep's hair? Didn't look at the tag when you bought it, man? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Gross. I'm happy to take your wool away from you if you'd like. I mean, your own wool, not your shirt. Well, uh, yes, please. But you'll need something to clean it up with. Like a broom or, like, fire. Cool. Okay. I probably won't use fire. I'd, like, burn it. Okay. Can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? Mind if I ask more questions? Ask away. Broom! I've already got a broom. Hey, I got that broom. Ready to clean? Yes. Amazing. Thanks, detective. Can I keep this broom? Absolutely. Can I keep your wool? D -d 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 it's still weird. But yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Not physically knock yourself out. Whew. Got some wool. Traded a broom for some wool, huh? Are you really clean the uh, wool with broom? I, I don't know. I have no wool cleaning experience IRL. I don't know. Let me not have all the answers, but go ahead. Ask away. This hole. What can you tell me about this hole? I hate this hole. Why? It never does anything. It's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts. Not holes. Maybe the ghost is in the hole. Have you looked? I've looked. No ghosts in there. It's a pretty deep hole, but gets smaller as you go down. So oh, maybe there's a ghost further down. Do you hear any ghost noises coming from the hole? Sometimes. But not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. 
I wish I could hang out there. Who's stopping you? The boss. Who's the boss? I... Don't know. So, nobody's stopping you. Except your own paranoia or something. Maybe, Mystery Monkey? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Mind if I ask some more questions? I think we're out of questions, actually. Nothing right to know. No questions right now. Thanks. I see. What's in here? Hmm. I should have listened to the sign. Right. I didn't want to listen to the sign, though. I have to try everything out. Yeah, I went in both holes. I went in the other hole, too. I'm gonna leave and go back home. Oh, got an achievement. Tried to leave. God damn it. I haven't even saw the best guy. Not allowed to leave. This is fun. I gotta get back to work. Why would I dance on a boat? Let's see. You wanted a magnet for the shell. That's right, that's right, that's right. Always with the question. I got a magnet now. I brought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Ah. This is a dream come true. Thank you so much. He's got it in his other hand, though. No problem. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. Great, thanks. Wow, a real magnet. Got a shell. Woohoo! Hmm, anything else? Nope. Hmm. Oh, bird guy wanted a big shell to replace his tiny shells. I got a big shell. I have a big shell if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. Not really. In that case, I don't care. I hate stories. Damn, you're in one, buddy. Okay. Anyway, I totally want the shell. Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at the tiny shells. But I won't need it now that I have this big shell. Cool, thanks. The you're still standing weird. I'm still on alert. The... the Here's the magnifying glass. Got a magnifying glass. To go with my other magnifying glass, right? I get doubled now, right? Hmm, that's it for now. Hmm. Who knows about the dance competition? Oh, he also needed a tooth hole paste. What did he want for the toothpaste? I forget. Hmm, boss is behind him. Oh, mouthwash. And the mouse has the mouthwash. The mouse needs dance competition notes, huh? Go ask Monkey Boy. Maybe he knows. Dance stalls! Hey, so, uh, you, uh. Hmm? You like dancing? And, um, dance styles? I don't understand. Uh... I like dancing a lot, if that's what you're asking. 
Yeah, kind of. What type of dancing do you like the best? Well, I basically only have one move. Yeah, but like... Uh, if you saw someone dancing... In what scenario would you most likely be like, This is such a great dance! What? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, What dance style do you like the best? Oh! Hmm. I think breakdancing is so neat. If I saw someone breakdancing, wow! I would swoon! I would even go so far to say... If I saw someone breakdance, I would be so deeply impressed! That I would want to hang out with them at all times, forever! Okay. That's great! Sorry for such a strange question. You gave a really strange answer, too. That's okay. I'm sure it's important to the case. The, the, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye! Not a monkey fact. That's right. Mouse guy, go break it dancing. Hey, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Oh my gosh. Did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Does Mystery Monkey hate me? I'm so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. Whew. Mystery Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing? I think I can do that. I gotta start practicing now, though. Yeah, I know, right? You have the competitions tomorrow. You gotta learn an entirely new dance so you may not know before tomorrow. Go, go, good luck. Good luck. Uh, thanks. Oh, here's the mouthwash before I forget. Cheers. Got mouth, mouse wash, mouth wash. Mouse wash, mouth wash, mouse wash. <laughs> practice in the dance in the. Yeah, practice the dance. It's right, it's right. Yes, yeah, they're practicing it. Nice moves. Hey, Pedro, what's up? What's happening? How's it going? How you doing tonight? How are you? I'm doing pretty well. I just started this cool game. We're gonna solve the mystery, right? Hold it. You just gotta trade a bunch of items first. There's your mouth to wash. Your mouth wash, mouth wash. I have some mouthwash for you. Amazing, thanks. Am I able to use your toothpaste? I almost forgot. Here you go, D-Tech. Got some toothpaste. Got all the stuff I needed. I needed the pasta too. Oh yeah, I was trading the magnifying glass for the pasta. That's what it was. Questions, questions, questions. Magnifying glass, huh? I have a spare magnifying glass if you're interested. Exclamation points. Interested? Are you kidding me? There's very literally nothing I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I could give you my lunch. Ooh, what's cooking? Pasta, as always. If there's one thing I love, apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satiated from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. Okay. That's a weird way to word that. Yep. Whatever. Would you like the pasta? Heck yeah! All yours. Got some pasta! Whoa. We got, we got, uh, hustled hard. Normal explosive ingredients is right, it's right, it's right. We got all our ingredients. Let's make some dynamite! 
Let's see. Wow. You got everything. Yup. Amazing. Shall we make some dynamite? Um, um uh, what happens when you say not yet? I'll come back soon. Ask me them. The questions are nothing. So let's make it. Let's do it! Nice. I'll cook up some dynamite and we can get exploding, baby. Well, this is it. Yep. Time to blow this cave up. Larry, explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. And I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby. I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. Thanks, Larry. Let's do this. Wow, all those rocks are gone. We didn't die to any rock explosion. Loading! We're going in the spooky cave. You're sleepy to that. <sighs> Sleep on. Sleepy! <sighs> Sleepy! I know how that feeling. Well, I'm not. The, 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 you know, you can feel energized by just um, looking at some uh, mushrooms. There we go. <laughs> spooky ghost is around here somewhere. Whoa. What kind of ladder animation is that? What? I can't go back up! Damn it. Coffee for you? Ooh, that's a good one. Caffeine. Good one. Sleep seven hours ago, Padra. What? Sleep is for, um, the, you know, sleepy people. Where are we going? Hmm? Is it? Oh, it's the one working on the dance competition. She's the ghost. Hello, lady. Oh, yeah. Finley, that's her name. Got spooked! No, I didn't. Ah! I didn't get spooked. Sorry. Oh, hi! Huh? Who are you? Are you a ghost? <laughs> what? I don't think so. Are you sure? Mm, yep. That's great! You're not wrong. So, uh, who are you? Finley. Who are you? The detective. Howdy. Wait a minute. Finley. I know that name. I'm pretty well known around local dance circles. That's not it. Oh. You're Martin's friend. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition. It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Um, geez, like two weeks, I guess? I didn't even realize. Haha. <laughs> Haha. Wait, two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around? Haha, <laughs> nah. Just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. You've... been... dancing? For two weeks straight? 
<laughs> yeah. She's gonna win the competition, no problem, man. Have you been dancing for two weeks straight? She's gonna beat that mouse who's breakdancing for like one day, no problem. No problem. Gotta wake up for work. Oh, man. Work. Ha! Basically pulling all nighter at this point. It's already 6.45 for you. God damn it. Damn. Good morning, pretty much. Sleep's important, though. God damn it. There you remind me. Love my voice acting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. What do you eat? The mushrooms? I knew it! And these mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross! Wait, why gross? The only, the only bad part is that, uh, you know, you shouldn't pick wild mushrooms because they might be poisonous. But mushrooms are tasty! Come on now. I, I just wouldn't personally pick the wild ones. I wouldn't, I wouldn't chance it. Even if I had, like, a guidebook, I still wouldn't chance it. I'd be like, no, nah, I'll just get it from the store. Thanks. Mushrooms are disgusting. What? You take that back right now, Froggy. That's your opinion, Detective. That's right. That's that goddamn right. No, it's a fact. Screw you. Okay. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Uh, her. Hmm. I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. I bet it sounds super warped, too. Yeah, and one of them said, uh, they thought they heard bird calls as well, right? And what's, what's Finley? A bird. Dot, dot, dot. You know you've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks. Uh -huh. Really? Uh -huh. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, you could have died. <laughs> then I'd actually be a ghost. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. But there's like, uh, this is awkward. <laughs> Good, there's very tragic yet funny animated song with the dangers of wild mushrooms on YouTube. It's in Chinese. What are your students shared it with you? It's wild. No, you don't mess with mushrooms, man. Haha. <laughs> anyway, we should head back up to the island. Yep. Mystery solved. Loading. What? Finley? Hi, Martin. Hi. Hey. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing here? I was in the cave. You... What? How did you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks, to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noises from her radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But... My ghost books! I was so sure it was a ghost! Nope, just me. It just goes to show, you should never trust books. Hey, what? Books are educational sometimes, but probably not ghost books. Always use the internet instead. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Books are, without exception, factually inaccurate. <gasps> I'm fighting words. Yep. Damn. Who? Oh. Grace Broxter, probably dead, right? Hi there. Apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which books can be very useful and informative. 
it's important to check the validity of the author's sources and to check the book is up to date. The internet can also be a useful place to find information, but make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. It's like a PSA. So, anyway, as I was saying, books have no place in our society. <gasps> sure thing, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. You're very welcome. So, oh, just to be clear, you were practicing for the competition this whole time? Yep. My minute to win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition? Best dancer wins. Who else is competing? The mouse. Hmm. That's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists. Mo what? Don't worry about it. I think we need more entrance. I know a few hard-working friends who could use a good boogie. But they won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move the competition to today! Damn. Yeah. 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 Before we dance, I just want to say... Thanks for solving the mystery, detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry... Is that the lobster? The one that talks over everybody? Yep. Well, I'll give my thanks to Larry, too. So, shall we boogie? Or a boogie. Let's go! I love share with you, it's a short. Sure. <laughs> well, everybody. How are you supposed to choose who the winner is if everybody's dancing? Who's going to be the judge? Someone has to be the judge, right? Maybe everybody wins. Well, thank you for playing, huh? And I guess that's, that, that's the first case solved. I'll dance now. I mean, I think they're all pretty good at it. Okay, I think we've... Wait, this is going too fast. Wait a minute. Who's judging? I knew it! I'll do it. I didn't, I, I didn't realize that text was going to just disappear on me. What? Wait, what? I think she should win just because she's been practicing for two weeks straight. Yeah, we reward the dedication. Is that like the robot or some shit? What was that? A bogey. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay, I thought I was judging. Why am I dancing there? Oh, I get to chill. Ah, oh, seven. She she worked hard for it. Though. I can't pick myself. God damn it! It's not rigged. Oh, so you 
should probably adjust the uh, cutscene to have whoever in the middle. Picked a winner. When will this game end? Uh, like now? At least episode one, case one or whatever. Fair. True, true, true. Dang, I should have voted my, for myself. It would have been uh, interesting. Say sure I can share the YouTube links. It okay, chat? Yeah, you can post links in chat. You're allowed to do that. Oh, we're back here again. Ooh. Look, we got a picture. Interesting. Yes, it's my supervisor again. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I help you? Detective. Supervisor. Great work on the Haunted Island mystery. Thank you. I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop would, could, could have solved that one. He sucks then. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted a group at the dance competition. Yeah, where did you see that? It was on TV. Every channel. Every channel? In HD. Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Mostly the calls are about your dancing. But I did get one call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Mobster Cop wasn't available? Nah. Uh, can you handle another case, Detective? I can handle anything. Mm. Detective will return in... Case of the Invisible Wizard. Oh my gosh. But why is he invisible? There we go. Listen, listen, listen. Well, answered the call. Okay, this is the end right now. Rest in peace, buddy. Yeah, that's why that's why you guys don't do that. You just buy yours from the grocery store. On to the case for the I guess we should update the thing. We're now doing the the second game. So, so, so. Now we're Detective Two, bro. I mean, I can't understand a word that song's saying, but it, so it sounds catchy. Alright, let's go. Let's go find some invisible wizards. Let's do it. <gasps> I get a lantern. Oh my. Hmm. I wonder if it's gonna be the same phone call I just did. <clears throat> oh, well, it's a little different. Why'd you hang up on me? Huh? We were talking just a moment ago about a new case. Ah, it's doing some kind of fourth wall thing. The one at Warlock Woods, right? Yeah. I hang up because I got too excited about solving another mystery. That's understandable. What can you tell me about this new case? It's a doozy, detective. Hold on to your hat. Supervisor, you know I can't wear hats. Sorry. Anyway, 
Orlock Woods is a fairly small town up north. They don't get many visitors around there. A couple of days ago, a new resident moved in. A shy kind of gal. Doesn't like to be the center of attention. Anyway, she settles into the new house and doesn't go outside to greet anyone. The residents of the town feel like they need to welcome her properly, so they organize a welcoming parade. Great idea! Absolutely. But someone in the town seemed to think otherwise. Last night, the parade decorations were destroyed. What? I know, right? So rude. Nobody has any leads on this case. They don't know who done it. That's where you come in, detective. That's me. I'm the detective. I am aware. More like Woods is a magic town, so it's not the easiest place to get to. You'll need to take an enchanted cart to the end of the line, then travel the rest of the way on foot. Too easy. You'll need to question everybody to get to the bottom of things. Do you think you can solve the mystery? Mm, yep. Great. Huff to it. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention. The new resident of the woods is... special. She's... invisible. Uh, that was loud. And a wizard. Exclamation point! An invisible wizard. Cool. Uh, what's the relevance of her being invisible? Nobody knows what she looks like, so they're really excited to find out. Hence the parade, and the decorations, and the celebrations. They want her to be uninvisible. De invisibled. Uh, visible. Yeah, that's the word. Exactly. Anyway, do you have everything you need? Um, I have my shoes, my jumper, my pants. I think I'm missing something. Your magnifying glass. Of course. It's on the table next to the door. Once you pick it up, you'll be ready to solve the mystery. Thanks, Supervisor. Good luck, Detective. I don't know, I didn't use it last time. I didn't need to use it last time to solve anything. Better go try to get some sleep. Alright, Pedro. Thanks for chilling. Get your rest. It's good for your health, I hear. Ah, my trusty magnifying glass. I can't solve mysteries without it. Yes, I can. Well, maybe I could, but I wouldn't want to. Like you pick and eat wild mushrooms, you'll end up in a grave, and then his family eats it too, and they're all <coughs> dead. They're all meeting their ancestors, and their ancestors are like, You dumb idiot, why'd you eat that mushroom? What the hell were you thinking? You stupid. Why don't you just eat an apple or something? Hmm. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of pictures. Alright. Why isn't it an invisible wizard if it's a uh, sheet? Ooh. What the fuck? Aren't wizards like the guy term? Mm. Be witch? Oh! So he's the lobster cop. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right. What's up, buddy? Ah, it's the famous frog detective. Exclamation point! B famous? I'm not famous. Ha <laughs> ha, perhaps not. But I'm sure you will be soon. Oh, I hope so. What brings you to my office, detective? Um, well, I was just leaving my office, actually. I work next door, right here. Oh, I thought that was a cupboard. Nope, that's my office. I've been putting all my cleaning supplies in there. Yes, I've noticed. I'm in there working every time you do it. <laughs> Damn, ignored. I even say, this is my office. And then you say, sure is, little cleaning frog. And then I say, I am a crime-solving frog, not a cleaning frog. 
But usually you're gone already. Excuse my ignorance, detective. I wasn't trying to offend. I'm a very busy boy. Head full of mysteries. Sometimes I forget to be polite. If I was polite all the time, I would never have time to solve my crimes. I understand. Maybe that's why I'm not as talented as you, lobster cop. Perhaps. But detective, you must keep trying. Never give up. I can give you some tips if you'd like. Wow, yes please. Tip number one, pay attention. Oh, <gasps> groundbreaking information. You should make sure you are looking at things and paying attention to words. Yes, quite right. Tip number two, everyone is a suspect. What? Everyone. Even you. What? I will suspect myself much more from now on. Good call. Tip number three. Carry a notebook. Oh, I'm not really big on books. They are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Detective, don't be foolish. A book you write yourself cannot be factually inaccurate if you are writing facts. I suppose you're right. I don't have a notebook, though. Well, it's your lucky day. I have a spare notebook on my desk. You can decorate it and use it all you like. Wow, really? Yep. There are stickers you can use, too. I bought them with all my crime-solving money. Cool. I'll let you get to it, detective. Head into my office when you're ready to decorate. Okay. Thanks, Lobster Cop. He's the stationery shop. Can't believe he thought this was a cupboard. Come on, though. You're not wrong. Guess anyone can be a wizard in this game. I guess so. Now look at those trophies. Mmm. Mmm. It's in a hot tub with some aliens. Oh my. Hmm. Hmm. Is that a cat? The cat's stuck in the dream. He, he found the real ghost. Not a dancer. Both those guys look really uncomfortable. Like, uh... No. I'm not gonna miss this guy's not dead on the inside. He's like, yeah, smiling. Hmm, which stickers should I pick up? Where should they go? Holy shit, that's a lot of stickers. Um, um, not. Oh, we're, we're a bird or something. Pop! Oh. And, uh, you know, we got UFOs stealing the, the notes, right? Dog shots. Obviously, I gotta show it's mine. And, uh, you know, we're not going to use this at all, so. Hmm. And, uh, um, I can totally wear a hat if I want to. It, just like that. Hmm. Well, um, what the heck is that? Like a CD or something? What's that? I don't know. Well, a uh, random sun there we go. And the bird needs a friend, so there we go. And, uh, you know. Uh, 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 yeah, those are supposed to be eyes, aren't they? Oh, I see, I see. And, uh, you know, we're, we're just crawling around. And the bird's got to have some food, so there's a apple and a banana. There you go, guys. No. So, so stick a star in there for good measure. And the star's got to have a buddy. Obviously. 
And Nilo is just a random robot in the corner. This is fine. All right, there we go. We go. Yeah, that looks great. Got a notebook. Sticky! Decorate your notebook. <laughs> Open your notebook with X. Whoa, we're getting notebooks now. The case is getting much more complicated if we're getting a notebook. How will we ever solve the mystery now? How will we? I know we love stickers and really enjoy this part of the game. It gives you lots of artistic freedom, right? Well, yeah, it's still limited by which stickers you got, but you know. You can put them wherever you want. Arrange them however you want. You could make a little story in your notebook on the front. How's your book decorating coming along? It's right there on the desk, you know? I know, just taking my time is all. Well, I haven't got all day. Just kidding, I do have all day. Take as long as you need. Alright. Bye. Bye, bitch. Mmm, supervisor. Me. I, he didn't even know me and I have a picture of myself. Who the fuck you think he been looking at this whole time? I doesn't even know I'm here. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, just like that. Oh, wait. Wrong button. Press A. Time to solve another mystery. Yeah, I gotta figure out why this wizard lady's invisible. Who's driving it? It's traveling on its own. Uh oh. I don't know. This seems way spookier than that haunted island. Come on now. Officer Cops is a little self-absorbed. For real. Hmm. Eh. We got some animals again. I'm leaving again. That. There's no way to tr even try to leave this time. No boat. This is the parade decorations. I not believe this. Hey, look, it's a cat lady, just like me. Oh, my stars. It's you. It's me. The famous lobster cup. Do I look like a lobster to you? Are you blind? Da -da -da. I really thought you'd be a lobster. Uh, no, I'm a frog. Yeah, why is your name Lobster Cup? I have to tell you something. Or some more? I am not Lobster Cup. Da -da -da. Why not? I don't know how to answer that. Because I'm not. I wasn't born Lobster Cup. Who are you? I'm the detective. Uh, frog detective. I see. Was Lobster Cop not available? Unfortunately not. Well, I think you'll do just fine. Thanks. I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi. I'm the one that contacted the agency. 
which I think you'll find excludes me from being a suspect. Never heard of a self-report? Meow, that's lots of kitty cash. That's right. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, I didn't know that was how it worked. You should know how these things... You should know these things, detective. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think you should still question me, though. To remove all doubt. Okay. Question me all you like. About the wizard. Do you know the wizard personally? Nobody knows her personally. Well, not here at least. Not me. Right. But I had a lot to do with the organization of the parade. And I was the one to start the investigation. You mentioned that. It's worth bringing up again. So, you were fine with her moving to the town? Absolutely. That old house has been empty for years, and it's really nice someone wants to live there. It needs a lot of fixing up, but it'll look nice soon, I think. Plus, it's always exciting to have a new neighbor. Sure is. I put up a sign I made for the wizard, but it got knocked down last night. Welcome. I'm feeling pretty sad about it, if I'm honest. Put it back up. We literally just gotta lift it back up in a position. Reattach it with a nail or whatever. Boom, you're done. I know you're here to solve the mystery, but I just need to tell someone how I feel. You can talk to me about it. Thank you. I'm not a professional sa sign maker yet, but I worked really hard on this sign. Really, I struggle to understand why someone would knock it down. It feels so heartless, and now I'm not sure who to trust. I thought everyone here would be thrilled to have a new neighbor. It's a tricky situation for sure. Some people are protective of their communities, and think new people are going to change things for the worse. But that's almost never the case. New people make places better, because they bring new perspectives. Especially in small communities. Hopefully it's just a misunderstanding or a mistake. I like to believe people are good. And that being said, I'm treating everyone as a suspect. But not me, right? Even you. Especially you. Especially me. Oh, no. Alright, not sure why I said that. But you're not off the hook just yet. Hook. That's it. Detective, could you please find me a hook? I could hang the sign back up with it. Hey, I mean, I was talking about that, but I didn't expect you to go there, Boga. Oh, okay. I'll do my best. Question me all you like. About last night. Went on a little kitty rampage. You're done. You have big love for cats. I know rot. Cats are the best. Cats are adorable. Where were you on the night in question? I was at home knitting a jumper for the wizard. Really? Yeah, I picked all the colors myself and everything. Though I'll admit it's a bit hard to focus on knitting. Why's that? I get so distracted by the wool. It's so fun to play with. I play with it so much that I unravel the whole thing and it goes everywhere. It's a big nuisance. I understand. Darn being a cat, she's like, oh, I must play with the ball of wool. I must. I must. But I was concentrating on the knitting so much that I didn't notice the distraction of the parade. I'm sorry. Did you notice anything at all? Hmm. Now that I think of it, I saw a big van out near the entrance to Warlock Woods. It didn't drive in or I would have heard it. I didn't worry about it at the time, of course. Dot, dot, dot. That's all I remember. Sorry. No worries. I don't think that's it. Nothing right now. Ooh, we're filling in the notebook huh? with people. Moda, maybe she didn't like her sign. Just tried to parade out of embarrassment. Needs something to fix her sign. Oh. 
and says she's not suspicious. This makes her much more suspicious than she realizes. Upset about it, but the raid being destroyed. Worked really hard on her sign. Saw the end of the entrance last night. So basically, this just uh, gives a place for the stuff people are talking about in the first case. Like, right. In the first case, you had to remember everything everyone talked about. In this one, they give you a uh, notebook for it. Interesting. In case you forget all the stuff. It's freaky. Hmm. Very intriguing. Hi, buddy. What's up? I can't squish you. I don't have feet. You're safe. Hmm. Who do we talk to next? Hello, wizard. Hmm. What's that? A coin or something? I'm not sure why this pie is here. That's a pie? It looks more like a coin with a worm on it or something. But it seems out of place. I'll hold on to it for now. Got a pie! But what kind of pie? That's the real important question. Is it an apple pie? A pumpkin pie? That's the real important question. A rhinoceros, huh? Do people actually just have pictures of themselves like that? I could understand like family photos or whatever. Just a picture of just you smiling straight at the camera. It's like, she's just straight on your wall. Come on, though. Even a smiley face shirt. What? Wait, what? Are you screeching? Are you singing? What are we doing here, Mary? Trying to be spooky. Hello, what's your name? I'm Mary. Nice to meet you. You too. Did you like my song? Hmm. Yep. Liar. 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 Pants on fire. I've been practicing all day and all night. Why? Oh, why are you okay? I'm tired. Ah, uh, maybe you should get some sleep. Maybe. You sing very loudly. Yep. It's why everyone soundproofed their houses. Damn. That sounds expensive. That is really expensive. Yeah, but that's not really my problem. <laughs> I think I sound very good, even late at night. How late? I love to sing at 3 a.m. That's right. How? That's when my energy is the highest. She's a night owl, just like me, right? That doesn't sound very healthy. What? Are you dissing us night owls right now? Meat pie? Hmm, maybe meat pie. My health is my business. Oh, yes, that's true. Sorry. That's okay. Maybe I should listen to some soft sounds before bed. Whisper, whisper. Welcome to my hair salon. Okay. Nip snip. That will be 100 money. That's an expensive haircut. I don't have any hair or any money. That's okay. You can pay me back later. Uh, th th just joking. Anyway, who are you? I'm the detective. Woo, cool. Can you question me? Do you mind if I ask? Uh. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, boy, I love questions. You love questions, huh? About the wizard! What do you know about the wizard that moved in? <laughs> Question marks? Yeah. Question marks? Oh, sorry, I didn't actually hear you. Ah, I was asking about the wizard. Oh! Yeah, there's a wizard. She just moved in. Why? 
I'm a detective. Right. This is part of the questioning, right? Damn, she, she's, uh, she's like off in La La Land somewhere. Yeah. Cool, cool. Um, so I didn't do any crimes or anything. Good to know. And I have the right to remain silent. That's suspicious. Yeah, but do you want to remain silent? <laughs> Literally never. So, like, I heard that Ralph was super weird about the new wizard moving in. Uh-oh, she's a gossiper. Also, I heard that Mandy was in a bad mood the night that the parade was destroyed. And I heard that Naughty, like, attacked the wizard one time. And, uh, that's all, actually. That, that. Does this make me a snitch? Yes. I think so. Right. Oh boy, I love questions. I right? know that all about last night. What were you doing when the parade was destroyed? Oh boy, yeah. It sucks that the parade was destroyed. What's the work? Oh, we're doing questioning. What was I doing? Not much, just singing outside. She should have seen what happened then, right? You were outside when the parade was destroyed? Yeah. Did you see anything? Yeah. What did you see? Detective. Have you heard of extortion? <gasps> yes. That's great news. Is it? Detective. I would like to extort you. <gasps> I don't think that's legal. I am above the law. Oh yeah. You want you want to test that lady? Oh. Why are you extorting me? I would like five money for a train ticket. I don't have any money. Well, you best get some soon. What do you need a train ticket for? She's gonna go off to an opera or something. Practice her singing chops. Well, I was close enough. I want to go to Froggywood and become a star. Oh, that sounds exciting. I know, right? Sorry about the extortion thing, but I don't really have many other ways to get there. Get a job? Try that. I figure if you get the money for me, I can finally go and live my dreams. Ah! Right, right, right. What will you give me in exchange? Information. What kind of information? A phone number. Uh, a phone number. Who am I calling? I can't tell you that. All I can say is that they were in the vicinity when the parade was destroyed. I don't think you'll be able to solve the case without this phone number. Hence the extortion. Sorry. It's okay. We all get extorted every now and then. We do? Yeah. Anyway, come back to me when you have my money. Mm. Nothing right now. Can't believe I've just been extorted. Perhaps the wizard is a better singer than her. No, she was she, she was she was ten out of ten, right? She's the next superstar. Mm. Who's extorting me? Seems really loudly all the time. Everyone's soundproofed their houses. True. Wants to be big stars. Extorting me has never been extorted before. What a thrill. Um. Is that something you're supposed to be thrilled about? I don't know about that. I don't know. I'm not sure that's something you're supposed to be happy about. What are those? Someone spilled the Doritos. Chips, they yummy. Trademark. I see. Hmm. Clothing shop. What the fuck? Eight whatevers. Not dollar. Six whatevers. Seven whatevers. No wonder you couldn't afford the ticket. You bought this thing. For six money when you could have not bought it, saved six money and bought your ticket.
What? Is that just some, like, person's face? Like one of the devs, maybe? Alright. Look at all these adorable animals. Like this. Oh, it's another pie. I'm not sure why this pie is here, but it seems out of place. I'll hold on to it for now. I've got two. Somebody's gonna need multiple pies or something. Two lost pies. But are they both the same type of pie? That's the important question. I know, there, Zebra. Exactly, that's right, that's right. Carlos? A customer! Welcome to Carlos's All Things You Could Need shop. Are you Carlos? Yes, just like the name of the shop. That's me. Haha, <laughs> how cool is that? The shop has my name in it. I mean, it, you named it after yourself, so... Yeah. It wasn't by accident. So cool. My company also has my name in it. What's your company called? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. What's your name? Crime? Oh, though. No. I'm the Frog Detective. That's not really a name, though. More of a title. <sniffs> Damn. Oh, I suppose you're right. Why did your mom name you that, man? What if you named your kid Frog Detective and they wanted to be a baker or something when they grew up? Come on now. My shop actually has my name in it. Cool, I'm jealous. Thanks. Here in Warlock Woods, we are all our own biggest fans. Being conceited is a societal construct. We have rejected it. Uh, are you sure about that? Hence why my shop is so popular. I sell portraits, among other things. Wow, that's great. My office neighbor, Lobster Cop, has a picture of himself right above his desk. Oh. You know Lobster Cop? Yep. Holy heck. I have been a fan forever. You know he solved the mystery of the haunted island recently? Excuse me? That was me. Excuse me, company. Oh, uh, I don't think... Wish mark? It was actually me that solved it. Wait, really? It was all over TV. The dance competition had a lobster in it. Oh, I think Larry was the lobster cup. Oh, you must be thinking of Larry. You mean small Larry? No, this was a regular sized lobster. Uh, no. Larry is a regular sized lobster. Not the Larry I know. Oh well, agree to disagree. How are we to, what? I really did solve that mystery. It was me, the detective. Hmm. That's really cool. He doesn't believe me. Thanks. So oh, you're like the second best detective, I suppose. Yeah. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Okay. What would you like to know? A night in question! Where were you last night? Just here, in my shop. What about when you closed up? Quish mark? My shop doesn't close. When do you sleep? It's 24 hours. What if someone needs a portrait of themselves at 4 a.m.? They can wait till 9 a.m. when the store opens. You're open all the time? Sure am. Of course, I sleep and eat and look after myself. When? My customers simply wake me up if they need to buy anything. Ah, you know, I wouldn't do that. I'd feel bad about waking them up and I would be like, Nah, I can sleep. I'll come back later. Where do you sleep? I sleep standing up. Years of training. I'm the most committed shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Also the only shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Do you ever take breaks? Hmm, sometimes. 
but I really like it here in my shop. It's where I feel most at home. The extreme shopkeeper lifestyle isn't for everyone, but I take so much joy from my work. Me too. Although, I must request that you look after yourself and close the shop if you need a break. Okay, I promise. Anyway... Did you see anything last night? Nothing particularly interesting. Why? The, 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 uh, the crime? Huh? Hmm... I think I need to question you a bit more. Go for it. What would you like to know? The wizard! Bro, you cursed me. How'd I do that, Pyro? What's up, Sapna? How's it going? On your way back home, three cats were charmed with you. That's not a curse. That's called a blessing, you know. You're welcome, by the way. Properties. What do you know about the new wizard that just moved in? Uh, who? The invisible wizard that moved in literally next door? Wait, really? Someone moved in? Yeah? That place has been empty for ages. I gotta say hi! Well, the parade was meant to be for saying hi. Parade? The parade that everyone has been prepping for? He spent so much time in his shop that he literally has no clue about anything else going on in the world. Wow, how nice. Can't wait. It was destroyed last night. What? This conversation is a roller coaster of information. I have literally no idea what's happening. You weren't involved in the decoration at all? Nope. Should I offer to help now? Wait, who is the parade for again? Is it for me? No, it's for the invisible wizard. She just moved in next door. Right, okay. Uh, oh dear. The party hats. Pardon? Every time we throw a parade, everyone has party hats to wear. Mine was ruined at the last parade. I've been too busy working in my shop to buy a new one. Oh no. How embarrassing. I can't show up to the parade without one. Well, it was destroyed, so... You don't have to worry about that. You have a dog? How do you explain it to him? Uh... Uh... Well... You see... The dog thinks you're a dog, too, right? He thinks you're a cat now. <laughs> <laughs> Woof, who's right? It's, the, it's not like the dog knows what a dog is. The dog would probably just think the cats were other dogs. Like, come on. All the cats think you're also cats or something. All the dogs think you're dogs. It's, it's just like that. Everyone thinks they're the same species, okay? Do you think it's too late to order one online? It'll be tight. You're right. Ah, what should I do? Don't stress. I'll track one down for you before the parade starts. Oh my gosh, thank you, detective. In the meantime, I'll figure out a way to repay you. Unfortunately, I don't have any frog portraits just yet. Not a problem. What would you like to know? That's all, thanks. Hmm. Does Chloe think you're a cat? Yes! She thinks I'm just a big cat. I guarantee it. Odo could be worried the wizard doesn't shop locally. What? Needs party hat. Busy boy, works really hard, doesn't know anything that had happened, seems stressed about the parade, doesn't have a hat. He needs a hat! The boy needs a hat! Hmm. 
Yes, I've heard that cats just think that we're big cats. We're too stupid to hunt mice and defend ourselves. Hmm. I think that's pretty accurate. Speaking of cat. Hello, cat. How are you? Shaking your head, I see. Did Chloe give you gifts? Ah, well, she's indoor only, so not very often. One time she showed up carrying an entire lizard, though, like a little gecko or salamander or something. And I was like, Ugh. where did you get that? You've gotten in somehow. And she says, right, I found it totally. I found you some dinner, right? I found you some dinner. Aside from that, she usually just brings bugs sometimes. had a rodent problem with her though so she's never had the opportunity to get a rodent i haven't seen one which i guess is a good thing hmm is this the wizard's i saw you it's always somebody peeking whoever that is hello is anyone home look at that it sounds like somebody's inside, but I shouldn't intrude on them. I'll come back another time. Why? Oh, wow, they kind of do look invisible. They're just eyeballs. In the wizard outfit. Intriguing. Another pie? I'm not sure why this pie is here, but it seems out of place. I'll hold on to it for now. In my said apartment, it wasn't fun. I bet not. I have a feeling if uh, any of them were ever stupid enough to show up here, Chloe would be like, Well, you're dumb. Goodbye. She's pretty good at catching stuff. Um. What are you doing? Victor? Hi. Hello. Want to hop in? A little bit. But I'm on a case. Oh, cool. I'm Victor. Who are you? The detective. Is that your real name? Maybe. Cool, cool. Are you here to question me and stuff? Because, like, I'm not suspicious. They all keep saying that. Don't they understand that just makes them more suspicious? How do you know you're not suspicious? Well, I think I didn't do it. You think? Yeah, nobody knows anything for certain these days. <laughs> so, why are you here swimming? I'm visiting my friend Naughty. Oh, she's the only person I know with a hot tub. Plus, I heard there were going to be delicious pies for the parade, so the timing was perfect. Where do you live normally? Over near Pumpkinville. Nice spot. I was thinking of taking a holiday there at some point. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Awkward pause. Um, so, anyway. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Yeah, whatever. Questions. Shouldn't she be sleeping? Chloe? I hate to break to you, but cats only sweet sleep like 20 hours a day. So every once in a while she shows up. Demanding pets. Her attention. I just saw her like five minutes ago. I don't know where she went though. She walked in. I saw her shake her head. No, I don't know where she went. Probably left the room again. Go sleep somewhere. She's probably sleeping right now. She wasn't five minutes ago, though. She wakes when you're busy with streaming. Hmm. True, she usually pops in 
at some point to be like, "Is it, are you in here playing your video games again? Ah! Huh. Let's see about the wizard. Did you know much about the invisible wizard before you came here? Uh, not really. I knew the parade was for her, but beyond that, I don't know a lot. Annoying that they never threw a parade for me coming to visit. I mean, why would they throw a parade for you coming to visit? You're not coming to live there. A suspicious thing to say. I'm super cool. Have you been here before? So many times. The first time they even threw me a parade. Wait, but you just... You just said that they didn't, but are they supposed to throw your parade every time you visit? The cats and dogs have a sleep schedule? Uh, I mean, they probably do kind of adjust to your schedule, right? Because they'll, they'll know when it's feeding time, right? They sleep when the sun goes down and wake up after eight hours? No, they don't do that. Their, their sleep schedule like that is a little different. They have, they have a general idea of the time. Chloe always lets me know when it's time for her found. But it's about that time. Good though, I don't really have like a human-like schedule like that. They got their own schedule mode. We just said they did Okay. I take the parade thing back. Just pretend I didn't say that. Sure. Detective, I'm really bored of this conversation. I'm sorry if that's rude, but I have a new policy of being honest with people. Were you dishonest before? Yeah, I guess. I wouldn't tell people when they were boring me. I don't think that counts as dishonesty. So, what am I supposed to do when people are boring? I'm not sure. But probably don't tell them. It would hurt their feelings. I didn't hurt your feelings, though, did I? Well, I have to admit I was a bit hurt. I have a very exciting job, and I'm a frog. And I solve mysteries. I don't think I'm boring at all. Sure, but I've seen heaps of frogs before. Plus, I've solved my fair share of crimes. Yeah? Which crimes? This one. Huh? You solved the crime already? Yeah. Ralph did it. How do you know? Um, good point. I haven't decided that bit yet. But it seems likely that he did it. What was his motive? His what? Uh, motive? The reason for destroying the parade? Oh, um... I think because he has an eye patch on. Um, so, okay. I don't think that's a real motive. That doesn't make any sense. Now who's the rude one? This conversation isn't going anywhere. Neither are you, apparently. Not until I solved a mystery. Da, da, da. I'm sorry for being rude, detective. I mean it. I just get so grumpy when I'm hungry. Why don't you eat something? And get out of the hot tub? No, I must continue to soak. You could ask someone to get you something to eat. Like who? There's nobody here. Damn, I don't count. I am here. Right, here I go being rude again. If you happen to find food, I would love to have some. In the meantime, I would like to apologize for being so rude. Please, take one money as an apology. Got one money! Questions. Ah, I'm going to go my pot. I can't believe this. I bet Chloe makes sure you know it's time to feed her. Yes! She does. She gets all up in my face and is like, wake up! Feeding time. Her food bowl's empty and I'm streaming, you know, and stuff. She'll, she'll walk over. 
And she'll just sit right there. And she'll look up and she'll be like, <clears throat> food? It's pretty cute. Cats are naturally nocturnal, but they definitely adapt to your schedule. Mine just wake up, the sun comes up. Um, they're, uh, what's that called? Crepuscular or something like that? They're dawn and dusk creatures. I forget, forget if it's called that. Something like that. Did you pick up lots of pay? Please say yes. I did! $30 isn't too bad. It was the last copy they had, too. They're all out now. It's so tragic. About last night. Let's see, let's see. Hmm. Where were you when the parade was destroyed? Well, I had been swimming all day in Nadi's hot tub, so I was super wrinkly. Yep. And it was hard for me to get inside the house because of my wrinkly hooves. Do hooves get wrinkly? I have no idea. Uh-huh. I waited for about half an hour for the wrinkles to de-wrinkle. Yep. And then I went inside to Naughty's house and snoozed on the couch all night. What time was that? All night. No, I mean, what time did you get back into Naughty's house? Before the parade was destroyed. It wasn't me. Probably wasn't me, I mean. Can't be sure. I'm very suspicious of this guy. But 90% probability that it wasn't me. <clears throat> Why would you say probably if you're sure it's not you? Must be lucky you're punctual because your cats never bug you to feed them. They get their food at 7, 6 p.m. every day. That's sad. Well, you know, it kind of depends on their personality, right? Every cat's a little different. So Loki, your black cat, will appear and be all cute and cuddly right around dinner time. Like, he's there just to make sure you don't forget. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He'll be like, Hi! You haven't forgotten, have you? You better not forget! Or else I'm gonna go claw your favorite piece of furniture. Something like that. Um, uh, we'll, we'll come back with the pie. After we've talked to everybody else. That's the money! It's an F? Like a double F? Is it like a frog bunny? Motive. Hasn't eaten, could have been jealous of the parade. Need something to eat? No. Such a rude individual. Perhaps only rude because of hunger, but maybe just rude in general. Doesn't live here, only visiting. I want to visit Pumpkinville. Mm. Wait, you want to? Why are you Why are you putting your personal notes in here? Nice picture. That's some. That's one of the devs' pets' dogs. I can guarantee. Followage. I don't have any bots in here. Have no boxing. This is following since February 14th, 2024. So it's been a little while. Been a little while. A little lion. The one the other guy kept saying did it, right? Damn, why are you yelling at me? Hello, little frog. I'm Ralph. It's like, what the fuck? Why are you yelling? I'm just making sure you can hear me. I can hear you. You don't have to yell. You're very small. Might be difficult for you to hear. I'm small, but I'm also very close to you. Being small isn't the same as being far away. Are you sure? You can hear me at this volume? Yes! Weird. <laughs> I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the mystery. Really? Yes! But you're so small. I'm of average frog height. Hmm. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Questioning me, huh? 
Master Wizard! How do you feel about the wizard moving in? Mm hmm. Hmm? It's nothing against the wizard, but. I've been living with my friend Carlos for a while now, and our space is big. But I would really like my own home. Oh. I'd been eyeing off that old house for ages. I thought maybe I'd move in one day. But the wizard got there first. I see. It's my fault, I guess. I shouldn't hold it against the wizard. Hmm. This house is twice as big as all the other houses. Maybe you could renovate it and turn it into two houses. You could split it down the middle. Or have one house upstairs and one down house downstairs. Like an apartment. That's a pretty cool idea. I like Carlos and everything, but I'm a private boy. I understand. Like... Carlos just sleeps at the shop. How, how do you even have to worry about that? He was just talking about how he's 24-7 shopkeeper. Sleep standing up. Thanks for checking. No problem. Hey, Boris. What's up? What's happening? How's it going? That guy looks just like you. You look like a big lion. Okay. I don't have any renovation supplies, though. Hmm. Let's see if I can track some down for you. Like the froggy boy? You look like a frog? What? Thanks for your help, detective. Maybe if I do a good job, I'll get my own building show. I'm excited to see it. Questioning me, huh? About your eye. May I ask why you have an eye patch on? That's Ralph's business. Oh. It'd be really good for me to know why you have an eye patch. Sometimes a boy just wants to wear an eye patch. That shouldn't make me suspicious. You put it on for fashion? Kind of. Fashion? Detective, I don't want to get into this too much. But I watched a movie last night. About pirates. And I loved it. And there's another three left. Three whole movies. Can you believe it? Sequels? I've never heard of a movie having a sequel before. <laughs> I know, right? Usually sequels are reserved for video games. That's right. Yes, it's extremely normal for to have a video game sequel. Especially for games with large audiences like the Toad Investigations series. Yeah. Anyway, I was watching a pirate movie last night. That's where I was. And for that reason, I've decided to wear an eye patch. Okay. I'll leave it at that. My thanks. Alright. Nothing right now. Up, Detective Profilia. Ah, we're just solving mysteries. We're questioning all the possible suspects right now. What if a true pirate fashion wanted to cause a ruckus? Needs building supplies. Loves pirates, eye patches, cosmetic only. A private boy wants to renovate. Thinks I am too small. I am not. Are you sure? Are you sure you're not just jelly? Or like got knocked over. Naughty. Oh. Hmm. What? Huh? Who are you? The detective. Oh. I thought Lobster Cop was coming. Huh? What? Did you say something about Lobster Cop? No. But I heard... Can this frog read my mind? Why are you speaking like that? Like what? Like this. Oh! Is this what telepathy is? Can you hear this frog? You're saying everything out loud. Well, this frog has a temper. Anyway, who are you? I'm Naughty. 
Okay. I'm the mayor of Warlock Woods. The, 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 okay. Was it you that asked me to come? Or for me to go? Oh, that was Cat. No. I would have asked for Lobster Cop. I really need to emphasize that I can hear you. Stop listening! Okay. Can I ask you some questions about the case? I guess so. Tell me what you want to know. Out last night! What can you tell me about last night? Nothing. Oh. But I can tell you about the wizard. I know basically everything there is to know about her. That's great. First of all, she's a wizard. Uh-huh. And she is invisible. Great. And she just moved in. Yep. And... She is a wizard. I think you mentioned that. No, oh, I don't think I did. Right, okay. Sorry. It's fine. Anyway... Tell me what you want to know. About the wizard. It's a wizard. Andre Aurora. I need all the hydrations. So, how do you feel about the wizard coming to live here? Uh, heck, how do I answer this? Wash marks? Well, I'm happy she's here. But, that house has been empty for ages. And I didn't know she was coming, right? Nobody told me, you see? Aren't you the mayor? I think so, anyway. She kind of came at a weird time of night. And I, well... I thought that she was a ghost. Oh. Yeah, it was a bit messy. Oh? I tried to vacuum her up. Exclamation point! What video game she been playing that she decides you should try that? It's a vacuum. I put it on the highest setting. Just really went to town with the vacuum. I think I really freaked her out. And now she won't come out of the house. Um. Please don't put me in jail. You're not going to jail. Jail isn't real. But you should probably apologize. Jail's not real? Really? Okay, I'm taking notes right now. Okay. Sorry, detective. I mean to the wizard. Right, yeah. That's why I was helping with the parade. To apologize. But she hasn't been out of her house. Also, the parade is ruined. Let me see. This makes me sound really bad. I swear, I wanted the parade to be lovely. As the mayor of the town, I booked a live band to play a song. But, as you can see, the stage is gross and ruined now. The band is on their way, and I have no time to fix it. They're a very famous band. I wanted to be as professional as possible. If I only had a rug or something to use, I could cover up the mess. But the town is in disarray. I don't have time to track one down. Oh, no. Thank you for your concern. If you happen to find anything that would work, please let me know. We'll do. Do you have more questions? Hmm. Tell me what you want to know. Looks like nothing. Suspicious. Tried to vacuum up the wizard. Maybe there's some history there. Needs a rug. Think so I can read minds? I can't. The mayor? Hard to cool band to play the parade. Attack the wizard! Uh oh. It's all very suspicious. But why can't you literally just. Like, get a cleaning towel and wipe this up? 
I would need a rug. Another pie. I'm not sure why this pie is here, but it seems out of place. I'll hold on to it for now. Four pies? I broke the rule of threes. We got a fifth pie there. Yes. What's up? Mandy. You're the detective, right? I'm Mandy. Hey, Mandy. Be careful where you step, detective. There's mess everywhere. I'm used to mess. Lucky you. I'm not. My shoes are brand new. I can't get them dirty. Why don't you change shoes? Uh, the detective? Are you joking? <laughs> I can't wear flats with this look. The proportions would be all wrong. Besides, these shoes are enchanted. Oh? I'm one of the few actual witches here in Warlock Woods. Most folks here are just fans of the spooky. Which is fine and all, but it means a lot of the cleaning work will be mine to do. I never should have learned that tidying up spell. It shouldn't take too long for me to clean up this mess, but first I need to find all my pies. What happened to your pies? Same thing that happened everywhere. Someone thought it'd be funny to knock them all over. So annoying. I spent ages making them. Ah, I see. Well, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Tell me what you want to know. About last night. We'll get to the pies in a second. Where were you last night? Doing heaps of push-ups and getting ripped. Just kidding. I was on whizbay.net, where magic happens, trademark. What were you doing? Fitting on some new shoes. But you just got these ones. Yeah, but the ones I was busy on would go super well with this blue dress I have. Uh-oh. Wow, cool. I know. I didn't win, though. Who got the shoes? Not sure. All I know is their screen name. Someone called Dizzy Wizzy 109. Sorry to hear it. How did you feel when you lost? A bit defeated. I went for a midnight stroll to cool off. But then, I saw someone in the distance. It was a pretty foggy night, so I couldn't see much, but they were carrying a large box. I couldn't see what they looked like, but they definitely weren't from here. It felt like they were waiting for someone. I didn't think too much of it and went home. Hmm. Did you hear any noise after that? No, my house is soundproof. Ever since Mary has taken up singing, it's kind of a necessity around here. <gasps> she, she's, she's doomed us all. Nobody here heard anything because everybody's house is soundproof except for her. We're in trouble now. I only saw the mess in the morning. No, no. Interesting. Hmm. About your pies. Hey, Gamers Wolf. What's up? What's happening? How's it going? How you doing tonight? We're playing some cool frog detective game before it leaves Game Pass. We're totally solving this mystery. Maybe. Probably. Possibly. You need help finding your pies? Yes! Detective, seriously. I seriously need help. Straight up, I can't see anything right now. These glasses are so dark, it's unreal. But on regular glasses? I'm such a dingus. This town is literally cloaked in eternal night. Why did I think sunglasses would be a good idea? Take them all? They weren't a good idea. However, I don't regret it. They make me look amazing. Do you think I look amazing? Yep. Thanks, I do too. Worst purchase I've ever made in terms of practicality. But it brings this look to a new level. I may be a dingus, but I am a very stylish dingus. 
thought. What were we talking about? My outfit. No, before that. The, the, the pies! Right! You offered to help pick up my pies. I'm missing quite a few. If you could bring them to me, I'd be happy to clean them all up and give you one as payment. Okay, sounds like fun. Neat. Thanks, detective. Huh. Ah. Uh. I give her the four dirty ones. She cleans one up and gives one back to me. I give it to the deer guy. It's been a while since I've seen you live stream. Really? I've been around. I play different games on different days. Tonight we're doing this cute little game called Frog Detective Mystery Series or something like that. I think it's just Frog Detective. That's pretty cute. We totally solved mysteries. But I'm still around streaming games. I was doing the... What was it? Yesterday was Thursday. I was doing God of War 3 yesterday. And a bunch of other games on different days of the week. So I've been doing just fine. I've been chilling. My cat hasn't kidnapped me yet. Whisk me away to um feed her and not stream, right? I don't know I don't know how she'd do that, but still. You're probably plotting it. Mandy. Detective! I have found some of your pies. Did I find all of them though? Wonderful! Now there's only one left to find. Ooh. I'll hop to it. So there's another one somewhere. Hmm. I go look for it. Any motive? Upset about not winning the shoes, perhaps? Took it out in the parade? Needs help finding her five pies? Oh, last night was on Wizba. Bidding for shoes. Someone knocked her pies over. What a bummer. Schooled me about fashion. Fair enough. Real witch. Spooky. Right. Actual true. Real witch. You bet. Hmm. Where could the final pie be? Oh, right here. It's a lost pie. Got a lost pie. Who's right? Oh, that was, that was a tough find. I found all of your pies. Huh? All of them? I think so. Yep, that looks like all of them. Wow. You must have searched far and wide. I searched this general vicinity, yes. Owie. Thanks, detective. As promised, here's one money. Wait, I thought I was going to get a pie. I don't think you ever promised payment, but thank you anyway. You're welcome. Oh, I'll give you a fresh pie, too. They're delicious. I'm not very hungry. You can hold on to it if you like. Nonsense. Take one and eat it later when you're hungry. Okay, sure. Thanks. Thank you for finding my pies. Got a fresh pie. Good night, bestie. Good night, Gina. I'll take care of yourself. You have a good sleep. Oh, well, we got a fresh pie. It's not got dirt or whatever all over it. I, I still want to know what kind of pie, though. Amazing baker. That's right. Like, what kind is that? Hold on. I guess we'll give you your pie now. I bet if I tried to give the other pie, I would have been like, Ugh, it's dirty. I won't take it. Are you still hungry? Yes, very. It's making me really rude. For example, I think your jumper is outdated. 
Hector, I am not the most fashionable frog in the world, but I like this jumper. It's my favorite. You're right, it's retro. Not outdated. I'm simply very hungry. I have a pie for you from Mandy. Seriously? Score! Yep, please enjoy it. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. And I feel much less rude now. He needs a Snickers, is that what this is? He gets a Snickers and he's not mean anymore. Really? Yep. You have beautiful eyes. Ah, uh, he went the other direction. Oh, wow, thank you. It's true. I think that color jumper suits you perfectly. You're making me blush. I should give you something in return for this pie. Hmm, I have a spare party hat that I'm not using. Maybe you could wear it? Alas, my head simply is too weird a shape. Well, hold on to it anyway. It might come in handy. Thanks. Got a party hat. So now I give it to the shopkeeper. I got it peeking out again. Carlos, I have something for you. No way. It's a party hat. No way! Yes way. That's epic. That's honestly the most epic thing I've heard all day. Thanks, Detective. Not a problem. Incorrect. It was a problem. And you solved it. Just like a true detective. Ah, thanks. You've made a fan out of me. Here, let me pay you for your work. You better be a rug, right? Oh, no, that's okay. Detective, I insist you take payment. One money should do it. Got one money. I thought you were going to give me the rug. Thanks. Ah, okay. Oh, I also found this rug out back. Not sure what use it is, but I figure you're good at solving these types of puzzles. Got a rug. See, he called it. Can I be your favorite pie? That'd be like apple pie or cherry pie, right? I'll find a use for it. Thanks. Those are like the best ones. Best of luck solving the mystery, detective. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty well, Gamers Wolf. We're playing this chill game tonight where we solve mysteries. Oh no, I don't have a hat either. I could probably borrow one. It's fine. Am I even invited to the parade? I hope so. Oh, You definitely are. If you solve the mystery. Harry Bloom's iced tea. Gosh. We have your rug. I don't understand why you need to cover this with a rug instead of, you know, get a mop. Paper towels. But. You wanted a rug, so... Great news. What is it? I have found you a rug. What? Holy guacamole. This is great news. Thanks for tracking it down. This should do the trick. Wow, looks just like new. Hopefully the band won't notice the mess. I don't think they will. They're in a fish tank anyway. My. One guess they're fish. They're... Fish? Bingo! Wait, do you mean to tell me you got the most famous band of all time? The Market Buddies? Yep. They're on their way. Wow! I saw them live once and I was blown away. I can't wait. I'm excited too. I can't wait for the parade to begin. I better get back to work so I can solve the mystery before the parade starts. Before you go, I should give you something in return. Oh. I have some building supplies left over from when I made the stage. Is that enough? Sure, thank you. Got some building supplies. Plus, one money. Oh, no, that's okay. 
It was simply a favor. Don't be silly. You worked hard to get me this rug. I insist. Wow, thanks. I want money. Building stuff? Not building supplies, building stuff. Long snoot. <laughs> That's rude! You can't just make notes like that! That's rude. Here's your burden supplies. Hi, Ralph. Hello, small frog. I managed to track down some building supplies. Oh, great. What exciting news. I'd love to use them if you're okay to hand them over. Of course. Excellent. Thank you so much. Of course, I must pay you for this. Oh, there's no need, really. Shh, I won't hear it. Please take the money. Out of one money! We have now have our extortion payment. Thank you. Also, I think you've earned yourself the title of Honorary Pirate. Wow. Really? Me, a pirate? Yes, you have the treasure collecting skills of the finest pirates. For this, I must award you a special prize. Here, take this hook. Got a hook. Wow, what do I do with this? You can use it on your hand if you want. Or you can use it for something else. I'm not your dad. Not yet. Question mark. He's like, what? Am I, am I adopting you and I don't know it yet? Sorry, I don't really know why I said that. All good. Enjoy the hook. Oh yeah, let's rock. I'm gonna use the hook to hang up the, the, the thingamathing. Next to the cat lady. Here you go. I'm back. You're back! Yep. I found you a hook. Oh, my stars! Thank you. I can fix my sign right away. That's okay. Yay! I would like to repay you for this hook. No, that's okay. I got it for free. Nothing is free in this world. Just kidding. Our society is really progressive, and often things are actually free. As a sign of my gratitude, please feel free to use my house whenever you need. It's fairly simple, but beautifully decorated at least. I have a phone, too! Great, I'll be sure to use it at some point. Thanks, Susan. Now I gotta go get that phone number so we can call it up. Whoever on the phone. Ah! Wow. I'm gonna sleep on this bed. I can't sleep in her bed. Damn it. Hmm. Who should I call? I don't have any friends to go. No! Oh, tragic. Wait. Oh, that's like through the wall. Well. What you think of this game? It's very cute. The creator dev would be charmed by your voice acting of the characters. Oh! I always like doing voice acting if there isn't, you know, already voice acting. We add our own spin to it, right? I guess it's time to be extorted. I guess it's time to be extorted. Give item five money. Hi, Mary. Hey, detective. How's the extortion going? I think I've got your five money. 
Whoa, for real? I didn't think the extortion would work so quickly. That's excellent news. I'm really good at being extorted. I'll say. Anyway, do you have the information for me? Totally. Last night, I saw the postman drop off a parcel. It was around the time the parade got destroyed. I couldn't see who he was giving it to, but it was someone here in the town. Barney is the postman's name. He's a chill dude. I don't think he'd mind if you called him up. I have his phone number. May I have it? Absolutely. Got a phone number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Thanks for giving me this money. I'm really excited to visit Froggywood. I'm excited for you. Obviously, I have to wait until the parade is over. Of course. See you around, detective. Sweet. Got a phone number. Wow. Amazing. What a nice song. Well, wait, why mysterious? We already know who it is. It's the postman. Why is it mysterious? Come on now. Uh oh, he can't answer the phone. He's driving. He's going to be responsible, right? You better have a hands-free device. Oh, sweet. There we go. Hi, it's Barney. I have you on speaker. Hi, Barney. Hi. Who am I talking to? Hmm. Lobster cop. Wow, really? No, I was tricking you. Rats. Who is this? Noodle? I'm the detective. I'm calling about an incident that happened last night at Warlock Woods. Oh, wait, this is the sheep that Noodle in the first chapter was talking about, right? Yeah! I didn't do it. Do what? Whatever you're calling about. Wasn't me. That's not suspicious. Are you sure? But <laughs> What did I do? Last night, someone destroyed a parade which was being set up for the new resident of the town, the Invisible Wizard. I was told you were in the area when it happened. Oh, yeah, I was there. Didn't destroy anything, if that's what you're asking. Well, it's just delivering a parcel. Who are you delivering it to? Uh, hmm. What was her name? Oh, Lola. Huh? I don't think there's anyone in the town called Lola. There must have been someone who lives there. The address was on the parcel. Though I can't remember exactly which house it was. Sorry. Hmm. You remember where the parcel was sent from? Oh yeah. I deliver a lot of parcels from them. It was from the whizbay.net headquarters. Oh. It was the pair of shoes. That sounds really familiar. Where have I heard that name before? Uh, I know Mandy buys a lot of stuff from there. But this wasn't for her. You know what was in the package? Some sort of shoe, I think. Maybe two. A pair of shoes. I, well, people don't usually just buy one, so, you know. Did you get a good look at them? It was pretty dark. I have no recollection of really seeing anyone. Not even a face. Huh. Weird. Warlock Woods is pretty dark, but I haven't had much trouble seeing anyone before. Me neither. It wasn't much more dark than normal, either. All I remember is a blue dress with stars on it. The wizard! I'm pretty stumped on this case, Barney. Do you know if there were any clues left behind? A signature on the delivery slip or something? Uh, I didn't get them to sign it. But I remember something dropping, dropping over at the entrance to the woods. I tried to call out and tell them, but they'd stumbled off before I noticed. At the entrance to the woods, you say? I'll check it out. 
Thanks, buddy. Party! Motive accidentally crashed his van to the decorations, drove away without realizing. Cool guy, I didn't see he was delivering to. Lola, responsible driver, had me on speaker. I should search near the Warlock Woods entrance for the thing that dropped. That's right. Very responsible speaker. Or driver, I mean. Is that the thing that dropped? Near the entrance. Huh? Oh, glasses! I guess the wizard just needs glasses. Oh, she knocked over everything because she couldn't see. This must be the thing Barney was talking about. Hmm, they're glasses. Got some glasses, huh? Oh, they have a name engraved on the arm. The Invisible Wizard. Well, this is my only clue left. I think I should try and return these to the wizard. He should be in the old house near Carlos's shop. I think we have our culprit. Hiding in the house out of embarrassment for knocking everything over. Can't believe this. Hello? Is anyone home? I found these glasses. Louis! A lot of boxes. Ah. Ah. I think I see our wizard pal. Where could our wizard pal be? Hmm, I don't know. Over this corner? A broom. Can't pick up this broom, though. Don't open that door, either. Guess we gotta talk to our wizard buddy. Watch the marks? Hey! It's rude. Can't just disappear. Ah. Look at our random crab. Must be feeling very shy. This corner, probably. Yeah. Invisible, but doesn't phase through things. They must really like pies and Doritos. Not enough to eat them, though. Flattered that you have a picture of me up there. What's up? Invisible wizard. Ah, I was there. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the detective. Oh, thank goodness. You're here to solve the mystery. Yes. Okay. Well, I don't know where my glasses are. So solve that as soon as possible, please. Thanks in advance. Da, da, da. I found your glasses, I think. Are these yours? Ah, I can see again. That was so quick. You should get a promotion. I don't remember calling a detective to solve this mystery, but I must have done. Otherwise, why would you be here, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, no. I'm actually here to solve a different mystery. Which one? I don't mean to ruin the surprise, but the town was setting up a parade for you. I'm sorry to tell you that last night someone destroyed it. I've been trying to figure out why. However, I've noticed that your house is littered with the decorations. 
the, the hole was you. Where were you last night? Uh, I was on Whiz Bay. I got some new shoes. I picked express delivery. They arrived last night. Oh, you're Lola. Yes. Back to my alibi. <laughs> The, the, I went to pick up my shoes from the delivery guy. And then I dropped my glasses. Oh. The, 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 and that's all I have to say about that. Are you sure? Yeah, I think someone else must have destroyed the parade. Perhaps one of my enemies. You have enemies? Um, yeah. Ooh. The guy? Question marks? Evil guy? Sorry, what? Enemy? Evil guy? My enemy? Evil guy? Yeah? Are you making this up? Yep. No, evil dude is really my enemy. Don't you mean evil guy? Evil guy. Your enemy. Yes. <laughs> Where can I contact evil guy? No, oh, he's not able to be contacted. He's very mysterious and is not available right now. Or ever, even. How convenient. Anyway, he must have destroyed the parade. He solved. We did it. Well done. Wow. Too bad he's not able to be apprehended, but at least we can continue with our lives. The, 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 Lola, are you being dishonest? Yes. I'm really sorry. It was me. It was an accident, I swear. You destroyed the parade, didn't you? I didn't know the parade was for me. That's so nice. And I ruined it. When I dropped my glasses, I couldn't find my way home. I was bumping into everything. See, I called it as soon as I saw the glasses. What happened when you got home? I had some chips stuck to me, so I ate those. And then I just hid. Why didn't you tell anyone what happened? I'm so embarrassed about it. I only just moved in, and already I've made a big mistake. I'm a very shy lady, detective. I make myself invisible so nobody can see me. That must have been why nobody saw you last night. Yes, I suppose. Can you become not invisible? Uninvisible? Visible? If you insist. Ta-da! Wow. Oh, exclamation points. You're a frog, like me. Yes. I'm slightly disappointed. What? Well, it's just that I had a good joke prepared. I will do it anyway. Okay, so imagine that instead of a frog, you were revealed to be a lizard. Oh no. Wizard lizard? Okay, so you've just been revealed, okay? Pretend. Okay, it's me, a lizard. Wow, so you're not an invisible wizard after all. Oh, the, the. You're an invisible lizard! <laughs> yeah, it was a good joke. I thought so. The, the, the. Detective, are you gonna tell everyone? Hmm. I'm brand new, and it was a mistake. I'm worried that if you tell everyone what I did, they'll be upset. I think they'd forgive you right away. But what if they don't? I want to make a good first impression. Um, when we go outside, can you please tell them that it was evil guy? But that's a fib. Oh, white lie, perhaps. But who, it, who is it harming, really? Evil guy! The guy who doesn't exist? 
Evil guy isn't real. This is a moral dilemma, Lola. Just like in my favorite episode of whatever you call that French name detective show. Rate the joke, please. Uh, saw it coming a mile away. I give it a six out of ten. Nearly died laughing because it's so silly. That's kind of, I saw it coming a mile away. It's just too easy. It's rhyming, okay? It's too easy. It's your choice, detective. Let's face the music. Yeah, let's do it. Lost her glasses, totally did the crime. No real motive, but still the culprit. Needs glasses, does. No, it's shy, lady. A frog! Just moved in, made a big mistake. Lied about having a nemesis called Evil Guy. Wants me to tell the town it was Evil Guy. We've solved the mystery. Exactly 100. Too easy, so silly. Best, worst joke. Typical dad joke. Yeah, pretty much. Definitely a dad joke. Well, the whole town is out here to meet me in the... Okay. Alright. Hello. Hi! My name is Lola. Hi, Lola! I am a frog. Just like me. I'm so glad you could make it, Lola. I'm sorry that there's been so much commotion trying to get the parade ready for you. Somebody destroyed it last night. Mary, don't tell her that. We're so sorry that somebody destroyed it, Lola. The detective has been trying to figure out who did it. Duh, duh, duh. Well, detective, have you, have you solved the mystery? I hope it wasn't me. I'd be surprised if it was any of us. I wouldn't. Look at looking at you, Ralph. What? Ralph didn't do it, Victor. How many times do we have to tell you? I just don't trust that guy. Is it because he's a lion and uh, he's like a deer or gazelle or some shit? You know, like the the life cycle, right? Predator prey. No, he doesn't trust them. The more not makes me cringe and feel exasperated. The higher rate. Oh yeah, the more it get. Oh okay, yeah, that makes sense. You give it a glove now, time. Oh, my God. Hey King, what's up? What's up? How's it going? How you doing tonight? <sighs> rude. Yeah, that is pretty rude. I'm not rude anymore, Ralph. I had food. I don't think that's how it works. I didn't do it. Well, I guess we'll find out in a moment. <laughs> Go ahead, detective. Ooh, I get to decide to lie for Lola or not. You got hyperdimension Neptunia? Oh, yee! That's gonna be an interesting one to platinum, I bet. Here, it's got like a totally different battle system from like the Rebirth versions. Sorry, honesty is the best policy, Lola. Well, I solved the mystery. Who was it? How did that? It was... Lola. What? It was an accident. Lola dropped her glasses last night while picking up some shoes she bought on Whizbay. Oh my gosh! Those are the ones I really wanted! They look amazing. Lola can't see without her glasses, so she had a lot of trouble getting home last night. She bumped into just about everything. Out of that. I'm so sorry. I feel awful. I realized what had happened when I had lots of chips stuck to me. I ate them. They were delicious. The parade was for me all along, and I didn't realize. Lola was very scared of your reactions, so she hid in her house out of shame. Oh, Lola. It's okay. You should have told us. We completely understand. Yeah, Mary destroys stuff all the time. Yeah, I really do. 
Plus, Naughty tried to vacuum you up, so I feel like the parade being destroyed is kind of fine. I thought she was a ghost. That's what they all say. <laughs> We're all really excited you're here, Lola. We don't need decorations anyway. I really thought Ralph did it. Victor? Victor, apologize to Ralph. Duh, duh, duh. Ralph, I'm sorry I accused you. It's okay. I'm also sorry. I really didn't mean to destroy the parade, but I should have spoken up when I did. I'm a very nervous lady. Plus, what a terrible first impression. Not as bad as my first impression. Wait, why is the postman here? What did you do? I ran over Mary by accident. <laughs> Good thing she's a rhinoceros. <laughs> yeah. That was really painful. <laughs> Should we get this party started? What do you think, Lola? Yes, please. <gasps> party time! The dance competition we got. We got, we got raid party. Hooray! Case two completed. I think I'd fall out of that in about two seconds. Because it's moving and I'd uh, do your move, but I'd be like, Bleh! Wait, I thought they were fish. That's like a crab and a shrimp. Are those technically called fish? I don't know about that. Wait, he's wearing a hat covering one eye, huh? The only way he can wear a hat, apparently. Second mystery solved. Thanks for playing or walk on. All those dancing emotes. Let's say, let's say. Oh, a little bit later, huh? Snitch! Face a big moral dilemma. Not really. It was an easy moral dilemma. Oh, leave this. I don't book. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Detective. Supervisor. It's me, the supervisor. I am aware. Great job on solving the invisible wizard mystery. That was quite a head scratcher. Sure was. I was shocked that the culprit was the wizard herself. Yeah, the mysteries I solve are never what they seem. It's always a misunderstanding or an accident. Nobody is ever malicious on purpose in my mysteries. I'm so glad that crime isn't real. <laughs> uh, 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 didn't you get extorted earlier? Uh, so, uh, details. Yes. I think that's a crime. I suppose that crime is real after all. Your office is called Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Yes. Detective, why do you believe that crime isn't real? I was simply exaggerating. Plus, despite my job title, I never really seem to be solving crimes. That's going to change in a moment, I think, Detective. Ooh, super duper. I just got a call about a doozy of a case, detective. That sounds exciting. It is, but it's also the most challenging case I've ever sent you on. I'm confident in your abilities, but you might need backup on this one. Oh, like who? I'm going to send Lobster Cop to help you with the case. Ooh. Really? 
Lobster Cop handles such advanced cases. Won't I just slow him down? Nonsense, Detective. You've shown you're a very capable mystery solver. I think you're in the running to be the new number one. You're making me blush. You'll be A-OK. -okay. So, where am I headed next? I can't say over the phone. It's too sensitive. Wow. Head to the train station. I've left a ticket for you there. The train will take you to where you need to be. Good luck, detective. Do you think you can handle it? I can handle anything. Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh my, oh my. You had the best time hanging out here. Wait, after the detective has left. Mmm. Now we're collecting them. What's going on? My notebook! Someone's stealing my notebook! I rushed them immediately. I believe this. I cannot believe this. Leader at the station! I believe this. Well, I got my ticket. A worm train conductor. Where's this cute little hat though? Wild West. The detective will return in. Oh, Cowboy County, huh? Corruption, that Cowboy County. I see, I see. A tumbleweed! That was a bit of a different theme from the last two, which both had like spooky themes, right? It goes to the spooky town. Now we're going to be out in the wild west, huh? I see, I see. And the best time hanging out here, watching, listening to you play this game. Thanks, you're off to work, though. All right, all right. You have a good work. I hope it goes smoothly. It's over as quickly as possible. It's the best we can hope for, right? You want to see someone that means lose your marbles? That, that super silly joke. Sure. Yeah, you can share, share it in the chat or whisper it or whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do. I guess we'll have to up that uh, game we got. Yeah, we're now doing the third one. I believe this. Can you believe this craziness? We're going to solve all these things. We're gonna solve a corruption case, huh? Sounds like serious business. Oh, crazy stuff. Thou are you replying through it? Got that jazz music going.
Yeah, that's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. It's too silly, rock. It's too silly, though. I like how I was committed to the bit, though. Even when the joke didn't work in Mars. So I've got to do it anyway. We gotta commit! Rawr, 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 rawr. Let's go. Let's go. Gotta go cowboy town now, right? But yeah, you have a good time at work. Just pretend. That's right, just pretend. Oh, that's right. I got my lobster cup, buddy. Don't worry, he's gonna just smile at everybody like this, and it'll be fine, and be good. Okay, okay. You shall do have fun here. All right, all right, all right, I can do that. No, I don't remember you. I forgot who you were. Hey, it's Mary. Remember me? No. I know it's been a while, so I thought I'd give you a quick recap. After the detective, that's you, solved the case of the Invisible Wizard, a mysterious phone call came in. Well, it wasn't that mysterious. It was the supervisor, as usual. But the contents of the phone call were mysterious, you know? Okay, so let's set the scene. I'm a good actress. It'll be exactly like what ju happened. Yeah, sure. What? What? It'd be exactly like because it is. It is. It is. It is. I guess I could do that. What? My book's still here. No, wait, this is before, right? Frog Detective question mark. Oh my gosh, hey, it's me, the Detective Frog. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is totally exactly like that. Hey, gorgeous, I'm the supervisor. I'm kind of like your boss, but not officially. Oh my gosh, I know, it's so hard to describe our professional relationship. But you're like a helper of sorts. Yes, exactly. Like a manager, almost. Yeah. Okay, so I have a new mystery for you. Can you even believe it? Yes, <laughs> it's my job to solve mysteries. <laughs> Obviously, I was being dramatic. Classic supervisor. Okay, so what's the case about, babe? I love your enthusiasm, but it's actually really sensitive, so I can't tell you on the phone. Aw, boo. I know, bummer. Makes it so much more exciting, though. For sure, yeah. Can you do me a huge favor, lovely? What? Grab your magnifying glass next to the door and head to the train station. There's a ticket for you there, and it'll take you on a little trip. Cute, okay. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, love. Later. It's exactly the same. I can't pick it up. I guess I just automatically bring it with me. Sick! Now I can solve the case. I'm the frog detective. Got your magnifying glass. That's right. Okay, 
Okay, so the detective heads to the train station and it's all so cool. Like there's a new color scheme and stuff. But can you believe it? Someone literally takes the detective's notebook. <gasps> oh my. It's so messed up. Actual tears in my eyes. Seriously. I don't think the detective knows about the stolen notebook yet. So, you're actually up to date now. Please, if you could leave a review of my acting skills, I'd super appreciate it. Okay, enjoy the case. One out of five. The detective would never say, babe, and things like that. Mother. Gosh, cowboy boots. Let's go. What? Bye bye. Later. Phone call back home, huh? Hello, this is the Frog Detective from Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency speaking. How can I help you? Why did you answer the phone like that? What's that supposed to mean, Supervisor? This is a random phone on the street. Why did you assume it's ringing for you? I'm the only one here. You don't think it's a little weird? Not really. You're the one making a phone call to a random phone. Because I knew you'd be there. Now who's the weird one? Good boy. Regardless, I'm glad you picked up. I'm sure you're curious about this mystery. I sure am. Give me the details, please. I cannot. Someone may be listening. What? Who? I saw on the internet that it's possible for strangers to listen to phone calls. Who said that? My cousin wrote all about it on his blog. Okay. Well, if you're not going to tell me the details, why did you call? I have a special surprise for you. Hmm? As you know, the terrain of Cowboy County is vast and rough. I've ordered something special from Wizbay to help you get around. Ooh, is it a horse? What? No. Why would you say that? It's a cowboy town. What do you mean? Cowboys ride horses. Are you being serious? Horses are valued members of society. It would be demeaning to ride them around. It's messed up that you would even say that. I ain't sorry. Because, you know, they're animal people, right? Why don't you ride your fellow creatures? I just got confused. Don't worry about it. What did you order, then? A scooter, of course. Sick! It's that thing sitting right there. Like, literally right there. It should be near the phone booth. Old choice to have it shipped to a public phone booth. Please stop questioning my choices. Anyway, when you're ready, pick up the scooter and get some practice in. Lobster Cup arrived early and will be waiting for you at the town. Just follow the path to meet him and have fun. I hope you have fun, too. I will. Alright, see ya. Um, okay. My very own scooter! Sick. Got a scooter! Problem with why? Okay, hop off. Why? Wow! Do some sick tricks. Do it. Wah! 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 I don't think it's actually that that far away. I can't play some cowboy music, right? Some, 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 wild west. 
I don't mind walking the Put me on the scooter. I trust the bandits. They definitely didn't do it. The person that's been sneaking peeks at me the whole time. I want to know how I went uphill like that. It's not a motorized scooter. Go back, I'm sure. Hmm, that's how I'm gonna get these secret locations. Mm -hmm. Oh man, how dare they do this to me? <clears throat> hey, lobster cop, I'm here to help solve the mystery. Right on time, detective. I'm known worldwide for my timeliness. Is that so? Nope. But, but, can you tell me about the case, Lobster Cop? I sure can. We've been sent here to solve the conundrum of the sheriffless county. Ooh. This town was thriving, detective. A marvel of productivity, friendship, community, and cowboys. But there was something missing. The sheriff. What is it? Yeah. I was kind of leading up to that. My bad. For the sake of storytelling, can you please not interrupt? I sincerely apologize. Yeah. So, anyway. I've lost where I was going with this. You said there was something missing. Right. There was something missing. A, a sheriff. The town had realized that for all these years, they were missing a vital ingredient for cowboy living. They contacted the supervisor, and he contacted me. And me. Yeah. Anyway, here we are. I'm gonna be honest, Lobster Cop. The supervisor really hyped this case up. Like, there are two of us here. To facilitate the hiring for a management position? Detective, you read my mind. The supervisor really dropped the ball. Did you really think I'd need your help? No. Me neither. And as it turns out, I didn't need your help. Bless you, marks. The position has been filled. Oh? I knew the perfect boy for the job. Presenting. The new sheriff of Cowboy County. Sheriff Mason Mole. He's the one who stole my notebook. I could tell from his hands. Why'd you do it, buddy? Wow! Oh. Congratulations on such a speedy resolution, Lobster Cop. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll head back to the office. No. No. Hmm? No, you cannot. Why not? Is there something you need help with? 
Yes. What is it, Sheriff Mason Mole? Mystery. Crime mystery. Please solve this. What's the mystery? All hats have been stolen. You're wearing a hat. Not my hat. Town hats. Can you elaborate? All the hats in the town have been stolen. Please solve this mystery as soon as possible. Do you have any leads? No. Get to work, please. Well, you heard the sheriff. Okay. Um... Is there really no additional information? No. But here is your notebook. But sorry? Here. Notebook. Somebody mailed it to you. Got a notebook? Wait, what? They didn't mail it to him. I didn't even know it was missing. Not missing. It's right here. Can I ask a question? No, I am busy. Goodbye. <laughs> what a legend. You know each other? Sure, but how much can you really know someone, right? What? Don't worry about it. Now, Detective, as I am the lead investigator on this case, I trust you will follow my guidance. Oh, I didn't know you were the lead. It's a safe assumption to make. Right, of course. So, I'll be investigating leads, but I could use your assistance. Sure, what do you need? Hmm. I'll handle the motive and the suspects. You handle the crime scene and method. Okay. It's an easier task for a rookie like you. All you need to find is a map of the crime scene, a tool capable of aiding criminal activity, a key that could lead us to a clue, and lastly, not to mention most importantly, a meal for the number one best detective. A uh, meal? Yes, detective, keep up. I am a very hungry boy and will need sustenance to solve the mystery. I have some sandwiches I was saving for afternoon tea if you'd like them. No, I need a proper meal. I hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure to get those for you. If you need to be reminded of what I want, come and see me by the graveyard. Will do. Good luck, lobster cop. I don't need it. Good luck, detective. Damn. I tried to get this with some good luck. He's like, I don't need it. But, you know. You need it look to you buddy mystery of the missing house lobster cop wait, wait we're including him what if there's no possible motive for lobster cop to do this needs crime scene map criminal tool key deal both say it's lobster cop number one best detective i am very jealous so tall are you that made it to town ashiba howdy howdy is he just jealous because he's tall and he's a short frog? Is that, is that the only problem here? Man, I wish I was tall and not a short little frog. I guess. I still want to go over to that spot I saw before it cutscene me. I had it right the first time. Beautiful flowers. Very spiky looking, too. Hmm, can eat it for something. Oh, buddy. 
You a poisonous snake. You gonna get me? This gate needs a key. Perhaps I should find one and get Lobster Cop's help to open it. That's what the key's for that he mentioned. So, are you finished? Huh? Did you find all the things I asked for? What were they again? Forgotten already, eh? Not a problem. I know you're new to this biz. I need the following to solve this mystery. A map of the crime scene, a tool capable of aiding criminal activity, a key that will lead us to a clue, and most importantly, a meal for the number one best detective. Did you get all that? I think so. Get back to work, rookie. Hmm. I'm just exhausting your dialogue, buddy. I totally think so. Ah, great initiative. Let's take a look. A map of the crime scene. Hmm. Nothing you're holding looks like a map. You'll have to think harder about that one. A tool capable of aiding criminal activity. All you seem to have is a magnifying glass. Ha <laughs> ha. Unless you're the culprit, that won't help us out much. A key that will lead us to a clue. You do know what a key is, don't you? A meal for the number one best detective. Nothing particularly appetizing in your belongings there, detective. Ah, so I don't have everything after all. You're on the right track, I suppose. But if we want to solve the mystery, you must bring me everything I ask for. I'll get right on it. Wow. I'm still looking. Hmm. It's just time to talk to the town people. Start from the beginning. Town safe? He's a bank teller? Susie? Hey, you! Me? Yeah, you! Can you do me a favor? Um, it depends on the favor. What? I can't just agree to doing you a favor. I don't even know who you are. I'm Susie Rabbit. Can you do me a favor? I... You're the best, thanks. I need you to help me break into this bank. Uh... Nope. <gasps> I will not? Huh? Dude, you already agreed to do it. I don't appreciate you lying to me. If you said you'd do me a favor, you should keep your word. I didn't agree to the favor. Oh, so now you're changing the story? Whatever, dude. Just leave me alone. Damn, she mad about me not helping her commit a crime. Excuse me, Susie Rabbit. Hello? What? It's me, the detective. Yeah, I know. They should call you the flake. Why? Because you always flake on your promises. I'm going to have to break in on my own now. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, I didn't ask. Why are you breaking in anyway? Bit nosy for someone who doesn't want to help. Being nosy is my job. Fine. I don't have any ID, so I can't get into my vault. Oh. So you only want to steal things that belong to you? Yeah. Huh. Surely there's another way of getting them. Oh, so now you want to help. Typical. Ha, typical. I just mean, breaking in sounds dangerous. You could get hurt. I heard all these banks are booby-trapped. Why? So people don't break in? What? What's wrong with breaking in? Well, the point of a bank is to keep valuables safe. If people can break in, it kind of defeats the purpose of a bank. 
Mm. I'm starting to get it. Ugh, that's so annoying. I have a piece of evidence that is vital to the missing hats case. Wait, what? I could really use that. Ah, so you'll help me. Hmm, I really shouldn't. Uh, what kind of evidence? It's a map. I think it might lead to where the hats are hidden. I found it this morning, right after the hats were stolen. It had big letters on the top, the top that said a crime map. Eat after reading. I didn't eat it, obviously. That's good to hear. Maybe there's another way to get into your vault. Mind if I ask you some questions? The vault. So, let's brainstorm ideas to get into the vault. Oh, sure. What about we kick the bank teller? What? Absolutely not. I'm joking, obviously. Were you? No, I was not. Okay, new idea. We'll find your ID. I'm going to be honest with you, detective. What is it? I'm pretty sure my ID is in the bank vault. Oh, that's a conundrum. Yeah, but there's a silver lining. We live in a town filled with outlaws. I don't live here. Surely one of the outlaws will know how to make a fake ID. Is that against the rules? What rules? The bank rules. It's my vault. What are they going to do? Ban me from my own possessions? I suppose not. Great, so it's settled. You'll get me a fake ID. What? No. Oh. Suit yourself. Stand off. Stand off. Theoretically, if I were to help... Yes! Thank you, detective! I'll wait right here. Okay. About that vital piece of evidence, the map? What about it? What can you tell me about it? Do you remember what it had on it? It was a map of the graveyard, I think. Oh, that's helpful. Eh, barely helpful. The graveyard is massive. You'd be looking forever without some guy to tell you where to go. Besides, it's super haunted up there. I wouldn't want to spend too long looking around. It's haunted? That's what the rumors say. You remember anything else about the map? Nah, not really. Listen, if you can help me get into my vault, it's all yours. That sound like a good deal? I'll do my best. Just break into her own bank. Maybe she misplaced that in the vault. I don't know. It needs fake ID. Yikes. Short stature. Shorter temper. Ethical criminal. Not a big believer in rules. Oh, wait. What? Oh, I didn't know I could mark ones that's suspicious or not. I didn't know I could do that. Did I do that in the last one? I never know. Whoa! It's the post office. The worms work in the post office. And the cow. Craig, if you're here from the Evil Sacred Society, please leave me alone. I am not interested in joining. What's the Evil Secret Society? Nice try. I know the society's tricks. Well, I'm actually here from the Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Oh yeah? Where are your credentials? Oh, uh, well, I am a detective and a frog, and I'm here to solve a mystery slash possible crime. I don't have a badge or anything. Do you have any identification? Just my face. Do you have identification? No, but I'm Craig. Everybody knows me. I wouldn't normally believe you, but your appearance does seem to match what you're saying. But just know, I don't trust you. I wouldn't expect you to. We just met. Detective, I'm someone that is regularly messed with. There are many different societies around here, and they all want me to join. But I'm a lone ranger. I have no interest in being a part of these secret societies. What types of secret societies are there? 
For starters, you've got the naughty little guys. They've been after me for years. All right. The posties are another one. They go around delivering mail. I'm not sure that's a secret society. I think it's more of a public service. Then why can't we open everybody's mail? Not so public, if you ask me. Ooh, he's trying to commit a felony. Trying to commit crimes. Open your eyes. Another society is the Ghost Spotters League. Oh wait, I think I've heard of them. Yes, despite being a secret society, they're quite well known. To be honest with you, I said earlier that I wasn't interested in being a part of any societies. But that's only half true. Huh? The Ghost Spotters League is really exclusive, and I'm kind of bummed they'd never tried to recruit me. Are you a keen ghost spotter? Well, that might be the problem. To be inducted into the League, you need to have spotted a ghost. And you haven't seen any? Correct. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. You could be anyone. I'm the detective. It's a compelling disguise, I'll give you that. Do you know much about ghosts? Well, I solved a mystery involving one. The mystery of the haunted island. Although, it wasn't haunted in the end. Oh no. You could have saved us both time and just said no. Sorry, no, I don't know much about ghosts. Can I ask you some questions? Everybody always wants information from me. Sure. I mean... Why not? You said some interesting stuff. A ghost Spotters League, for instance. How close are you to spotting a ghost? What kind of question is that? How am I supposed to know? Ghosts aren't cool bugs, detective. You can't just spot them out and about. How does it work, then? Well, the requirements are pretty flexible. Basically, the society just needs a credible ghost sighting story or a tangible proof of a ghost, like a photo. Do ghosts show up in photos? It depends, but yeah. The saloon has a bunch of photos, but I don't want to send in the wrong one and embarrass myself. I don't know which ones are of ghosts and which ones are just normal photos. Hmm, sounds like a bit of a puzzle. They're so strict. If I get my application denied, three times I'm banned from ever applying again. I'm on my second strike. Damn. What did you send in the first two times? I faked the first two sightings. I dressed up as a ghost and ran really fast so I looked like a blur in the photograph. They're so clever that they figured me out right away. That's how I know they're the real deal. I like your creativity, though. Thanks. Say, if you happen to stop by the saloon, could you take a look and see if you can tell which of the photos has a ghost in it? I don't really care about actually spotting a ghost myself. I just want to be part of the society. I suppose that's fair enough. Sure, if I have the time, if I have time, I'll take a look. Thanks. Right. I don't suppose there's a secret society that is dedicated to stealing hats. Eh, not that I'm aware of. But that's the thing, detective. These societies run deep. I've barely scratched the surface of what there is to know. They run everything. Everywhere you've ever been. Anything you've ever done. It's all dictated by the secret societies. Surely that can't be true. You'd think not, but it's true. How do you know it's true? I'm part of several forums dedicated to uncovering the truth. Uh-oh. Is it a secret forum? What? <laughs> like, is the forum also a secret society? I never thought of that. I'll have to look into it. No, I'm just joking. I don't see how you can joke about something like this. Secret societies run everything. Craig, I just don't think that's true. Oh yeah? What evidence do you have that it's not true? None, I suppose. Just a lack of evidence of it being true. I would say it's more of a lack, like a lack of evidence of it not being true. Agree to disagree. I'll agree to be right and you agree to be wrong. Damn it. Okay, sure. Oh. 
not gonna get anywhere with someone who's doing that. Not a membership to the secret hat stealing society. Need to defend the proof of ghosts, either conspiracy theorist theorist or knows way more about the world than me. Does not buy my detective disguise. Dropped. Just wants to be part of something. Hmm. He just wants to feel included. Hmm. Suspicious building. Nice flags, Mayor. Sheriff, I guess. Interesting. Nice picture. Gloves, huh? Ooh, these could come in handy. Aha, uh -huh, get it? Handy? Gloves? Excuse me. Yes, Sheriff? Look up. Those are evidence. Evidence of what? The crime. Oh, I'll leave them here. No. No? Take them. Aren't they evidence? Not yet. Cool. Got some gloves. Um, you're gonna be evidence once I use them, huh? Howdy, Sheriff Mason Mole. Hello. How's your new position here? What? The job. Are you enjoying being the sheriff? Yes. That's great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Okay. <laughs> you know, you look really familiar. Have I seen you around before? No. Hmm, strange. You must have a familiar face. No. Ha! Huh, you're probably right. My memory plays tricks on me all the time. Yes. Press X to doubt. So, how did you meet Lobster Cop? School. You've known each other since school? That's wild. You must be close. Yes. Lobster Cop is pretty hard to please. He must think highly of you to suggest you as the new sheriff. Yes. That's nice, isn't it? To have a friend who thinks the world of you? Yep. What were you doing before this? Before? Before you became sheriff. Did you have a different job? Yes. What was it? But I helped. Helped? I helped out. Helped out who? With what? Not important. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. Haha, <laughs> there I go again being nosy. Goodbye. Oh, okay, see ya. Very suspicious. I would have wanted to be the only person in town with a hat. Needs to be left alone, it seems. Oh, so fell a few words. Priest job helped out. Suspect! Very suspicious. Mm. If he also knows you're talking to him. Ha ha! Funny. What's this? That stage. A grocery store? Carrots? Wendy? Good afternoon! Welcome to Cowboy County General Store. My name is Wendy. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Hi, I'm the detective. 
Unfortunately, at this time, we don't stock any gear for detective work. I don't need anything. Oh. Um. Please feel free to browse our expansive selection. I'm sure you will find what you need. No, thank you. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Yes. Do you need a specific item that isn't in stock? We process special orders at no extra cost to the customer. I don't really need anything. Special orders have an average two-day turnaround. That's a great turnaround. It is one of our many great policies. Such as... We are proud to offer our customers a satisfaction guarantee on all purchases. What is a satisfaction guarantee? We can guarantee that you will be either satisfied or dissatisfied with your purchase. Well, you can never be wrong then. What happens if I'm dissatisfied? That falls within our satisfaction guarantee. So I can get a refund? Nope. The Satisfaction Guarantee only guarantees a range of satisfaction from dissatisfied to satisfied. If your feeling towards the product doesn't fall within that range, you are entitled to a refund. That clears it up. Thanks, but you're always one or the other. But anyway, I'm actually here to ask some questions about the case. Unfortunately, we don't have cases in stock at this time. The mystery, I mean, of the stolen hats. Stealing is not permitted at Cowboy County General Store. It's not permitted anywhere, really. To be clear, I am not here to purchase or steal any items from your store. I am here on official business to solve the mystery of the stolen hats here in Cowboy County. Right. It would have been a lot easier for me if you'd said that in the first place. I feel like I just spent so much time explaining the policies and values of my store. A bit embarrassing for me, really. Like... Maybe in future, just tell people what you're here for? Yes, absolutely right. I'm not good at communicating quickly. I get easily swept up in conversation. Sorry. It's fine. I just feel a bit self-conscious. No, no, you did great. I learned a lot about your store policies. I'm glad to hear that. It hasn't been easy taking over the shop. You seem like an old hand at it. Ha! Huh, that's great. I'm not at all. I've only been running the shop for seven months. Oh, cool. That seems like plenty long to me. Can I ask you some questions? New job. Oh, you just started running the shop. How's it all going? I wish I could say I'm nailing it, but it honestly doesn't feel like that most of the time. That's no good. The shop has been in my family for generations. I thought in my hands it would be the best it's ever been. But it's just kind of the same. The same is good. At least it's not worse than it was. I suppose you're right. Is there anything that would boost your confidence? Well, there is one thing. What is it? Do you see these portraits on the wall? They're lovely. Every shop owner in my family has had a beautiful portrait created of them. Except for me. Mine is just a silly photo. It's a nice photo. Yeah, sure, but it's not the same. I haven't got the slightest idea how I'm supposed to get someone to create a beautiful portrait. I don't even know who painted those ones. Have you tried painting one yourself? With what time? And besides, art was never my strong suit. Maybe you could paint it for me. I wish. I'm not much of a painter. Well, if you find anyone that wants to paint me, can you let me know? How are they supposed to know if they want to paint you if they can't see you? Hmm. Here, take this photo of me. <laughs> okay, kind of weird. What's weird? Just carrying around a photo of you on the off chance that I find a painter who can paint you a portrait? I don't think that's weird. Okay, sorry. Got a photo. Um, I mean, um, I mean, um, I 
Maybe I'll... Um... I like how everyone gets, like, the sepia tone. Ow, my horse! Get the hats and sell them back to town, the perfect crime. Oh, they would notice, though. That's oh, shit. No way! You think they're not gonna notice their own hats being sold back to them? Especially if they look unique or whatever? You need to get a portrait painted. Oh, seven months in the biz, rehearsed and formal, yet professional and warm. I'm now carrying around a photo for her, and nobody thinks that's weird, especially not me. That's right. Can I please buy these carrots? Do you have money? No. Then you cannot buy these carrots. Why does everything cost money? I swear. What are they? A civilized society? Tumbleweed! Tumbleweed! Is this a saloon? Gotta be. A lucky horseshoe. Why? You look like you might be a painter. Not bad, not bad. Perfect. Very artistic. Vestal. That's a name. Well, if it isn't the frog of the hour. Maybe the frog of one and a half hours if we're being generous. 45 minutes if you're speedy. Aha! Well, you get what I mean. It's good to see you, detective. Have we met? Not in person, no. I've sent you several emails asking to illustrate your fro thro frog blog for blah, 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 blah. That's the tongue twister. Oh, you must be Pistol. That's me. Finest artist in all of Cowboy County and potentially the world. Yes, you mentioned that many times in your emails. It's a shame we haven't been able to work together. Your stories come to me so visually. I would love to illustrate them. I would love that too. Unfortunately, I do not have a million money to pay you with. It's actually two million money. Yes, yes, sorry. It's crazy. It's no matter, detective. Simply keep saving up and you will be able to afford my work one day. Ha! I'll do that. I'll do that. Are you working on something at the moment? Sure looks like it. Yes, my finest piece yet. That's your finest piece yet? It's... And, uh, well, you see, it's clearly a, who am I kidding, detective? I've lost my artistic touch. Oh, I'm sure it's just a bit of a cre of creative block. Creative block? No. I clicked on a banner on cyberspace and it took me to a strange website. What did the banner say? I care for an epic video of a worm who is buff. Hmm. <laughs> you were right to click it. We were? When it loaded, it was just a scary picture of a witch. Uh-oh. Tricked. It made a loud cackling noise and the screen just said, You just got a curse on you from this website. Ever since then, I've lost my artistic talents. That's terrible. When did that happen? Earlier today. I don't mean to doubt you, but are you sure it wasn't just a prank? A prank? I don't think so. That witch was really scary, and I'm normally very brave. Did the website have any specifics about the curse? No. Well, how do you know the curse is on your artistic talents? It's been three hours and I haven't found my latest muse. A muse? You know, a subject that piques my interest. Every day I find one, and today I haven't seen anything that inspires me. Hmm, can I ask you some questions? Go ahead. A curse! Can you tell me more about the curse from that website you visited? 
I don't know what more there is to say. I wanted to see a video of a buff worm, but I was tricked. Fooled. Cyberspace can be a really troubling place. Nobody warned me. On the bright side, I clicked on a banner that said I was the 1,000th visitor and I won 100,000 money. Uh... Yeah. What? Really? Yeah. You have the money? They just asked for my banking information and I gave it to the... You're stupid. You did what? Relax. How else was I going to get my prize money? That seems really dangerous. You're just jealous because I won 100,000 money. It's already there in my bank account. Really? You checked? Yes. I bought this new outfit with my winnings. Wow, I'm sorry for doubting you. It's fine. I guess I'll always click on those banners from now on. Sounds like a plan. Hmm, can I ask you some questions? Yeah. A muse, huh? You mentioned needing a muse. I'm cursed to never have one. Well, it's only been a few hours. One might show up. I doubt it. I think this is the end of my painting career. Don't give up now. What if I could help you find a muse? You want to help me? I would love to. Let me think. Maybe you could draw me? I have no interest in drawing you. That's understandable. Hmm. Damn. If you can find me a photograph of something compelling to draw, I would be very grateful. But I think it might be too much of a challenge. Nothing is too much of a challenge for me. What about putting on a hat? No comment. <clears throat> Your head is a weird shape. I know this. I'll get to work finding a photograph for you to draw. Thank you, detective. I wish you the best of luck. Hmm. Let's try the barefoot. I found a photograph for you to paint. Oh, can I see? Here you go. Wow. This is beautiful. Is this Wendy from the store? Sure is. It would be my absolute pleasure to paint this. I did it. What? I lifted the witch's curse. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, I guess. It seems like it was probably a prank. Oh, I thought you said it was scary. I don't think I said that. I'm really brave. It doesn't seem like something I'd say. Fast, re rewind five minutes ago. Right, I must be mistaken. It's okay. We all make mistakes. Well, not me so much. So, will this work as your new muse? Absolutely. Stay right there. I'm gonna paint it immediately. Mm. Looks great. And voila! Wow, it's beautiful. Thank you. I'm so proud of it. What are you going to do with it now? Oh, this is just a warm-up for me. You can keep this portrait if you like. Really? Yeah. Or throw it out. I don't mind. I'm just happy I got my talent back. The talent was inside you all along. What? No, it wasn't. Okay. Gammy yeah, just says okay. Got a portrait. He's not gonna argue. I refuse to argue with this guy. Possible mode, maybe hats are hard to paint. To me, use some internet safety lessons. Sure. I'm not sure that internet safety lesson part gets the star. Two million money is a small price to pay for art. Cursed, allegedly. Always give your banking information to anyone who asks for it. No! Don't do that! Bonnie. Where's Clyde? 
afternoon, detective. What can I get for you? Oh, nothing for me, thanks. I'm here on official business. Ah, hear about the hats? I must look like a heck of a suspect. Why's that? I'm the only resident of Cowboy County without a hat. I mean, until now. That's pretty suspicious of me. I could have stolen them all out of jealousy. And cooked them up in my stew. Ha-ha! Did you steal the hats and cook them up in your stew? You bet! Oh. Everyone, come get your hat stew! Ha-ha-ha-ha-ha! <laughs> What's that? I'm just pulling your leg, detective. I'm a jokester. They call me Bantering Bonnie around here. That's a nice nickname. Pfft. I'm literally joking. <laughs> Damn. They just call me Bonnie. I made that up. Oh. <laughs> now you're getting it. I'm full of jokes. Yeah. I get it now. Um, anyway, you mentioned that you don't wear a hat. Why not? My head is a weird shape. Ah. <laughs> I'm literally joking. My head is completely normal. Oh, ha 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 Fine, Sue. I just don't like the way hats look with my dress. Plus, I'm inside most of the time, so why bother? It's not a suspicious thing, LOL. Okay, LOL. Hey, detective. Uh, yeah? I know a lot about Cowboy County. I know it all. Why are we yelling? It's a joke, LOL. Is it okay if I talk normally? Yes, but it was just a joke. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, my job here isn't just to run the saloon. I'm also a keen historian for Cowboy County. Despite my hilarious nature, I take the role very seriously. For example, did you know that the graveyard up on the hill is gravely haunted? Uh, gravely? Sorry? It's gravely haunted graveyard? Yeah, that's what I said. I have tons of stories and photographs from the Haunted Hill. You can check them out if you want. I sure will, thanks. LOL. I just got the gravely thing. Ha ha ha. Can I ask you some questions about this case? Ghost photos. I can't tell which one is a ghost photo from her. Do you know much about the photos here in the saloon? <laughs> Legend has it they're haunted. I don't know if I believe it, but you're welcome to take a look at them and I'll tell you what I know. Sure, thanks. What about the stew? You didn't actually make cat stew, did you? Of course not. Gross. I am making stew, though. It's the only way I can think of to get the regular customers back. Where did they go? Oh, they're around, but I think they got a bit scared off. Ah, uh, do you have bandits in the saloon? Hello, oh, well, I wish. It's worse. Artists. Artists? Creative types. That doesn't sound scary at all. No, but no. You're right. It just changes the vibe. They hang around all day creating things and finding themselves. I miss the rootin' tootin' cowboy bootin' times we used to have. You're not a fan of art? I like the cartoon section of the newspaper, if that counts. Sure. You just want everyone to party a bit more, right? Right. Get them to stop taking themselves so seriously. So your solution is... stew? Hat stew! Uh, I'm joking. Sorry, I'm still learning about jokes. It's just a normal stew, but I'm famous for it around here. Lure them here with the stew. Keep them here with the party atmosphere. Sounds like a great plan. 
I don't have enough ingredients, though. Hey, could you buy me some carrots? I'll give you the cash. Sure. Got some mana. Oh, and around these parts, there's really delicious edible cactus flowers. Could you collect four for me? Uh, I guess so. I'll give you as much stew as you want in return. Sounds like a good deal. Can I... Oh, what? That's it right now. I don't know where at least two of the flowers are. Carrots Monner! Bonnie, motive could be a practical joke, perhaps? Carrots and cactus flowers for her stool. She's joking! Well, actually, she doesn't wear hats, but appears to be wearing a hat of some sort. Yeah, like, what the fuck is that on her head? King Cowboy County of Story and hates creativity. Hmm. Looks like a ghost dog. Still lit. This one is standing in front of a graveyard. That's totally haunted behavior. Or maybe she's mourning. Did you ever think of that? Then why is she smiling? Yeah, good point. Actually, I know who that is. That's Betsy, one of the first shop owners here in Cowboy County. She sold all the these gravestones to residents of the town. I suspect that's why she has such a big smile on her face. Smile of a clever businesswoman. That's right. Not haunted. Not haunted. Okay. Thanks. Is this a ghost? Who, Mark? Ha ha ha! Nah, I wish Mark was a ghost. What? That didn't come out right. LOL. That's my ex-husband. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. Why did you get divorced? Seems like a pretty personal question. My bad. Mm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's not really my ex-husband. I actually don't know who that is, but I call him Mark. I think that photo is over 50 years old. Take my word for it though. That's not a haunted photo. It has nice energy. Okay. This one is super spooky. Surely it has to be a ghost photo. And that's old Snappy Fresh. He was one of the original gold miners here in town about a hundred years ago. Damn. Wow. It's old and creepy. It totally fits the description I'm looking for. Yeah, well, you're out of luck. Oh? Well, Snappy Fresh is still alive. How could he be a ghost? He's still alive? How old is he? It's impolite to ask an old person's age. He's 130 years old. <sighs> that's old. How do you know? I asked. Coincidentally, that's how I learned it was rude to ask someone's age. Okay, thanks. So he still told you? Ooh, I like this one. I hope it's not haunted. Bad luck, detective. This is the most haunted photo of all. Uh, why? Legend has it, this rabbit was a real mean guy. He would put banana peels out for people to trip on. Give people wedgies, you name it. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. Wait. Sorry, I'm thinking of someone else. How embarrassing. No, yeah. This guy was the sheriff about 80 years ago. A great sheriff loved by all. So, not haunted? Nope, sorry. All good. Mm. What is... It's not Chikri, it's the other guy. I wonder if they were made by the same devs. It totally looks like that dog from Chikri, though. Like the paintbrush. Is this a ghost? Ha! Huh, I doubt it. That's a photo of a visitor from about a year ago. 
It came and changed all the colors in Cowboy County. It was really weird and messy. Oh, it is It is a cameo from that game. Fun, though. And they're still alive? I sure hope so. Thanks. Mm. Uh-oh. We're looking at them all. Then we looked them all. We found the real haunted photo, I see. <coughs> ah. What the heck happened? Wait, was this one here before? Hold up. I don't remember. It has such a strange energy to it. Yeah, I suddenly feel really chilly when I look at it. He's handsome, yet cold, like he's seen too much. A man who has lived a thousand lives. There's a kindness to him, but also a great mystery. Bonnie? Yes, detective? I think this is a haunted photo. I think you might well be right. May I take it? Please do. I'd be glad to get to be rid of it. Not a haunted photo. Man, who wanted the haunted photo again? Ghost Peak! I finally got away from the piano. Dusty. I sit and ponder, detective. Is this theft a bad thing? Perhaps. But who are we to determine good and bad? A stolen hat is a message. Do not let yourself be shielded. The light of the sun holds more answers than we think. Is he like a poet? Answers to what? Questions. What questions? Why is it so bright out here? How do I charge this solar-powered bobblehead? And more, I'm certain of it. We spend so much time focused on how to find the missing hats, and no time considering why we had them in the first place. I would assume for sun protection. Protection? From the sun? What harm does the sun pose to us? The sun can be bad for your skin. If I stay in the sun too long, my skin goes all crispy. I turn into a crispy fried snack. Is being crispy wrong, detective? It's wrong for me. Who are we to determine wrong and right? Well, I'm the frog detective. And I am i am just a lonely poet. Damn, I was call, called that. It would be like a poet. Trying to make sense of the world. It's nice to meet you. And you. You sure think a lot about things, huh? I try, but I think I get it wrong a lot of the time. Who are we to determine wrong and right? Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. If you don't mind me saying, you don't look too much like a cowboy. Oh, I'm no cowboy. I'm Dusty. I'm an outlaw slash poet. I'm trying to compose the perfect cowboy poem. It's taking forever. I am no good at this. But you have so much to say. Yes, but when I write it down, it gets so muddled, nothing comes out right. I'm sure it sounds great. It doesn't. I'm ashamed to even show anyone. You can show me, I won't judge. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> A cowboy's life is so much fun, sitting round on your bum. Ride a scooter, sing a tune. Say a yee-haw in the afternoon. The sun is bright. Their smiles shine brighter when waving at this lonely rider. I give a nod and smile back too. Yet I wish I could be someone new. An outlaw's life is not for me. 
I want to ride and be carefree. Instead, I sit and write stuff down, not fitting in with this cowboy town. Sounded good to me. That's my poem. It's beautiful. I would say that's the perfect cowboy poem. Thanks, but I think I want to write a new one. Do you mind if I ask some questions about the case? Go ahead. Perfect cowboy poem. Do you need help workshopping a perfect cowboy poem? I would love that. Nobody here really gets me, you know? Totally. I'll show you what I have so far, and maybe you can help me finish it. Err. <clears throat> I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal. How about that? Let's rip up his sack here that's right. What happens if I get it wrong? I think it's supposed to be the middle one. Near the tracks! Nice. Saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal near the tracks. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off. Towards the store, towards the moor, because he was bored. None of those really rot. He gets some more. He gets some more. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off to get some more. But just ahead, to his shock. The newly built office block, there's Desi from the lock, saw a goblet on a rock. What? Those are all kind of weird. Uh, there was a Desi from the lock. That sounds scary. There was Nessie from the lock. Um, okay, sure. But just ahead, to his shock. There was Nessie from the lock. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover a tumbleweed in its place, nothing there, just empty space, that they had gone without a trace. He just disappeared! The thing had gone without a trace. Ooh, plot twist, okay. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover the thing had gone without a trace. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went. Back to bed, feeling like an egghead, to tell his friend Ned. To tell his friend Ned. To tell his friend Ned. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went to tell his friend Ned. Ha! Huh? It's perfect. The perfect poem. I can't wait to recite it in front of a crowd. Please don't. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, detective. It wasn't a problem at all. I had lots of fun. You can just do whatever. I feel like I understand the cowboy life a bit better now. Maybe one day I'll feel confident enough to become one myself. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Hey, since I've written a perfect poem, I don't need my writing supplies anymore. Don't? Really? You don't want to write any more poems? No, no, I do. But every time I start a new project, I like to use new tools. So I don't take the energy of the old poem with me. Sounds expensive. Yeah. Anyway, take them. You got a writing set. I don't know who it's for yet, but we got it. <laughs> I would have wanted to absorb cowboy powers through cowboy hat osmosis. Seems unlikely. Right, just to talk to someone, I think. Oh, what icon, legend, friend, long to live cowboy life. Not great at budgeting. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Go ahead. Hmm, no way. We're done, I guess. Map, huh? Ah, great! I can use this to orient myself if I get lost in this needlessly large town. Got a town map. It's not a, not large. 
can say an extremely small town. I've played way bigger games, sorry. More scooters. I just knock them over. I can just walk off the phone though. Suspicious. Who's this little guy? Rhonda Dynamite? I come from far and wide to face off with the powerful Rhonda Dynamite. Rhonda Dynamite? That's me. Ready your weapon, frog. It is time for us to do battle. I do not have a weapon, and I'm not even super and I'm not super interested in doing battle. Then why are you here to face me? This is my land, frog. You cannot just waltz in here and expect to take it. Your land? You own the scooter barn? No, but I loiter here every day. Everybody knows this. Where have you been? You live under a rock, frog. I thought a lily pad might be more suitable. Ha! I live at 100 Skeleton Street, Slippery Pond. Da -da 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 -da. Did you just give me your full address? Yes. You literally just met me. Don't give your full address to strangers. Why not? How else are you going to know where I live? <laughs> you have a great point. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, she's here to tell us not to do this. Uh, but the detective does not have a great point. Do not give your address out to strangers. Unless your house is super cool and you're mega rich. <laughs> then tell people where you live. Because how else are they going to know you live in a mansion? Okay, even then, just show them a photo. Don't give them your address. Thanks for playing. I'll leave you to it. Mm. Anyway, I'm not sure why you're trying to fight me. Would you like me to leave? Nah, I'm enjoying having some company. So, what do you do? Hmm? What do you do as a job? Oh, I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the case of the missing hats. Just in time. When you find the culprit, bring him here. I'll beat him up. What? No? Give him a taste of these fists. Kick him in the nose. Tie their shoes together and trip him up. Tell him they're ugly. Please, no. I'm an outlaw detective. I hate it when people do the wrong thing. That's the opposite of an outlaw. Hmm. You're right. I think this life isn't for me anymore. You think so? To be honest with you, detective, I was meaning to apply for the sheriff position. Oh, it was filled just before I got here. Yeah, I know. By some rando. His name is Mason Mole. I'm sure a lobster cop wouldn't have given the job to just anyone. He must be very qualified, or he's a mole, you know. He's a mole. Doesn't mean he's not a rando. I suppose not. What makes you want to be the sheriff? I'm a natural leader. I run the outlaw group with class and style, and I love to help others. Got a problem that needs solving? I'm your girl. And I'm tough. No one is going to mess with me. Wow, you sound like a great fit for the job. I think so, too, but it's too late now. Not necessarily. You could always talk to Mason Mole, show him your expertise. Maybe you could be co-sheriffs. That's a great idea. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? Sure, I guess. Lunch break, how's it going here? Is the beard of the rounded circles get better and better? Mmm. I might have. Got a lot of people to question on this case. These chapter get bigger and bigger. How do you intend to become the sheriff? By force! I will simply beat up Mason Mole. Uh, no. What? You can't do that. Yes, I can. I'm Rhonda Dynamite. The rules don't apply to me. I'm pretty sure they do. What did Mason Mole ever do to you? I don't know, but he's shifty. 
Just don't trust his face. Please don't take the role by force. Have you tried submitting a resume? A resume, you say? Like a list of my skills and experience? Yeah, I think that would be a better option than beating up Sheriff Mason Mole. Less fun, though. Hmm, I don't really have the writing supplies for making a resume. If I had paper and stuff, I could probably manage it. I can get you the writing supplies. Just please don't beat up the sheriff. Fine, fine. I was just thinking about it. Let's ask about the job first. What kind of work do you do? Well, detective. I'd love to tell you, but I need to know I can trust you. Oh, I understand. If you're worried about me telling on you, I won't tell. My only concern today is the mystery of the missing hats. If you've stolen the hats, I will totally tell on you, though. That's reasonable. Well, okay then. I'm a mouse of many skills. I specialize in forgery and fraud. Oh, she's the one we get the fake ID from. Wow, sounds intense. It's mostly a lot of printing stuff out. I can forge all types of things. Important documents, birth certificates, IDs, you name it. Could you forge a certificate that says number one best detective? Why? No reason. I'm just joking. Pretend I didn't say that. Okay. Right. I have some writing supplies right here. Oh, how did you get those so quickly? I helped a poet before I got here. I helped to compose a beautiful poem. <laughs> Sounds boring. But thanks for getting those writing supplies for me. I appreciate it. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. I have a bunch of skills. I wish I had a bunch of skills. We can't all be Rhonda Dynamite. Hmm. Fake ID for Susie, please. You mentioned you can forge identification, right? I sure can. I was wondering if you could help me out. Sure. Anything for my friend, the detective. Amazing. I need to get a fake ID made for Susie. Can you help? Can do. Did you want to know what it's for? Nope. I'm not interested in other people's business. I'll get that ready for you in a jiffy. Alright, all done. Anything else I can help you with? I think I'm good for now. Thanks so much. No worries, partner. Got a fake ID. See, Rhonda Dynamite motive might be. I honestly don't think she would need a motive to seal the hats. Just a hunch, though. Needs to write a resume and learn some non-violent conflict resolution skills. Those wants to fight me. No, wait. She wants to fight everybody. Knows my full address. Dreams of being the sheriff. All you had to do was not give her the full ID. You know? Hmm. That leaves only, like, this person over here to talk to. Whee! I need to get those flowers, don't I? Yeah! You spider! Hello, spider! That's one prickly cactus. Good thing I have these gloves to protect my soft little fingers. Oh, that's what the gloves are for? You get like four of those. Who this dude? Sherman? 
Wow, look at you. Huh? Your jumper, your vacant smile, those piercing eyes. Are you a model? I certainly am not. Maybe it's time to start modeling. Maybe? Or maybe it's time to solve a mystery. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, I don't know what you mean. I'm a detective. Ah. Is there a problem? I don't want any trouble. I'm an outlaw, you see. My name is Sherman. Authority and I don't always see eye to eye. I have no authority at all. You have the authority to steal my heart. Wait, what? Ha ha! What? Because of your good looks. Huh? He likes frogs, huh? It's just a little joke. Not about your looks. You look great. It was like you could, like, steal my heart because you're so dashing. <laughs> you're too kind. Anyway, how can I help you, detective? I'm here about the missing hats. The missing hearts? You've stolen them! Uh, sorry, i just joking. Maybe not the time for my killer sense of humor. Your what? The hats, right. Mine was stolen. Do you have any leads? Who done it? That's what I'm here to figure out. Did you see anything suspicious over the last couple of days? I looked in a mirror! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm suspicious looking because I'm an outlaw. Oh. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Well, honestly, I'm a bit confused about how this new sheriff came into the picture. My fellow outlaw, Rhonda Dynamite, was working up the courage to ask to be the new sheriff. Clearly, she didn't get the courage in time because this new guy, Mason Mole, wandered in like he owns the place. You don't like him? Oh, don't get me wrong. He's okay. I just don't know why he wants to be the sheriff. Cowboy County has always been a lawless land. That's the way we like it. Everybody respects and understands each other over here. Or each other here. So I thought it would be better if the sheriff was one of us. Not saying he'll do a bad job or anything, but I just hope he keeps the county as kind as it ever was. Have you spoken to him much? He's barely said two words the whole time he's been here. I assume he's shy, so I'll give him time to settle in. Mm, just not my, a man of much work. But I don't know. It can be strange when someone new comes into your community. I really want to be as welcoming as possible, but I have a few concerns. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Sheriff Mason Moe. He's a suspicious guy. Why are you so suspicious of Mason Mole? It's not like me to be suspicious, really. You know me. I do not. Not yet. Sherman winks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Anyway, I just don't really understand his motives. Why is he here? Hmm, I'm not sure. Obviously, I want to trust Lobster Cop's judgment, but this new guy is so quiet and shady. Do you even know what job he did before this? I have no idea. Do you know? Nope. Figures. You mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Let's say this mine? The mine? Any reason why you're hanging out by the mines? Well, yeah. I heard there's gold in there. Wow! I really like gold. I don't mean to sound insensitive, but I want to ask. Is it a thing for sloths to like gold? Why do you ask? My friend Martin is a sloth and also loves gold. He made a crown out of it. Sounds heavy. Yeah. Well, I haven't really thought about it before, but yes, I think sloths do like gold. But then again, who doesn't? I find it doesn't suit my complexion. I think anything would suit your complexion. But anyway, I've been trying to get into the mine, but it's all blocked up. Dang. Have you tried exploding it with dynamite? What? No, that sounds really dangerous. I was thinking more along the lines of a pickaxe. Oh, that would probably be better, yeah. Do you have one? I can trade you for a, a shovel. I'll think about it. 
No pickaxe right now. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta find it first. I think we've talked to everyone. Now I just gotta give everybody their stuff. German motive, I don't know. I found it difficult to pay attention. Those eyes. So mesmerizing, huh? You need to pickaxe to break into the mine. No, it's Sherman. You make me blush. So funny. So cool. No, I refuse to be charmed. This is a suspect. But oh, he's so charming. Oh, handsome, huh? We Got a cactus flower. I can see why we have the scooter for this area. Snake. The one. Oh, he's got a hat. Interesting. I can't get down there without a ladder. I'd fall and break my legs and arms and knees and head and nostrils and fingers. I think uh, you don't need to break all those. That should be enough flowers. Mm. What about the fifth one over here? I know there's one, an extra one over here. Ah, it's just an extra in case you don't find all of them. Put in five, but you only need four. That's our portrait. Rat. So, you're not gonna believe this. What is it? I managed to get you a portrait. Wait, seriously? Yep. Pistol the painter saw your photo and he thought you were the perfect muse. He said, what? He said that? About me? Sure did. Can I see the painting? Sure, I'll hang it up for you. Wow, it's great. Pistol is so talented. How much do I owe him? No charge. He was just glad to be free of the witch's cyberspace curse. I'm sorry, what? It's a whole thing. Don't worry about it. The painting isn't cursed, is it? I don't think so. Well, good. Thanks so much for getting this portrait for me, detective. It was no problem at all. What can I give you for the trouble? Hmm, let me think. Oh, I know. Take this ladder. Oh, a whole ladder? That seems quite big. You'll barely notice you're holding it, I promise. If you say so, thanks. Got a letter. Lug it around like, ugh, ugh, ugh. Portrait painter! Can I get those cowards money? I sure do. Plenty of it. Okay, no need to brag. Take as many as you need. Thanks! Got some courage.
Go give this lady her stew ingredients. What were the stew ingredients again? Well, the full recipe is a secret. Of course. But I need carrots and cactus flowers. You should be able to get carrots next door at the shop. I'm on it. Hey, I managed to procure some carrots for your stew. You're the best detective. How did you even manage that? I simply went next door and bought some. That's so cool. I'll add them to the stew now. She even gave me the money for it. What is she? Why is she questioning me? I've just been flower picking. Great. Here's what I've collected so far. I'll add them to the stew. I really wish you told me that the cactus flowers are so hard to get. I nearly pricked myself. <laughs> Did you? That's so funny. It's not funny at all. It's hilarious. But the, the, it is not hilarious. That would have hurt. <laughs> yeah, it would have. Good thing I managed to find some gloves. Ew, like secondhand gloves? First and second hand, yep. Well, thanks for getting them. No problem. Hey, would you look at that? What? You got all the ingredients. I mean, it was a pretty simple task. I'm so proud of you. Da, da, da. What's wrong? Feels a little condescending. Damn it. What's condescending about being proud of you? All I did was pick some flowers and go to the store. That's more than I did. I suppose. Just give me a sec. I'll finish up the stew and give you some. Great, thanks. I reckon I could give this to Lobster Cop. Do whatever you want. Got some stew. Required his food. He's the one who wanted the haunted portrait. Haunted painting, picture, whatever. Okay, ghost pick. So, I took a look at all the photos in the saloon, and I think this one is definitely a ghost. Oh, really? How do you know? Bonnie helped me out by telling me the stories of all the photos. The rest of the photos seemed pretty normal, but this one... This one is something else. I can just tell. The energy from this photo is very spooky and suspicious. I should have known right away, but I suppose I can only be so smart. I suppose that's true. Is it okay if I take a photocopy of this? That's fine. Hopefully this is enough proof for the Ghost Spotters League to finally let me in. If they don't, it's their loss. Thanks. Hey, can I give you something for your help? What do you have? A pickaxe. Why? Sorry? Uh, why do you have a pickaxe? What's it to you? Can't I just carry around a pickaxe? Is there something wrong with that? No, I guess not. But usually when people give stuff to me, they have some reason for having it in the first place. Do people give stuff to you often? Yeah, pretty often. Okay, well, I don't really have an explanation for the pickaxe thing. Sorry. That's okay, I guess. Just one more mystery that will haunt me for the rest of my days. That seems really intense. It's just a pickaxe. Or you, maybe. Whatever. Thanks for the pickaxe.
Hey Valance, what's up? What's up? How's it going? How you doing tonight? We got the fake ID. Okay, so before I give you this, just know that this makes me very uncomfortable. But I know how important it is for me to solve this case and impress Lobster Cop. So here is your fake ID. Yes! This rolls. It looks so realistic. I don't think it looks realistic at all, but it should be enough to get you in. Okay, I'll be right back. It worked! Thanks, Detective. I'll be sure to tell everyone I know about how you helped me. Oh, uh, no, that's okay. You don't need to tell anyone. Hear ye, hear ye. The detective helped me break into a bank. Oh, no! I should call you the burglar. I do not want to be called that. Fine, fine. Here, I got the map out for you. Got a crime map, huh? Doing well, what about you? I'm doing pretty well. I'm playing through this cute little frog detective game today. We saw the mysteries. And I got my real ID out, so I won't be breaking the rules anymore. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks for the map. I think it'll be a big help. I got a map! Prime map. It's past the church. What? I can't believe this. What do we do with all this stuff? We. That's totally how a real scooter works, by the way. First, let's stick the ladder in there. Hey, this ladder is perfect for climbing down this well. Lucky me. Oh, will the hats be down here? Oh no, the key's down here. Okay. This is, um, pretty creepy. People are so careless nowadays. Ever heard of a keychain? I'll take this with me. How do you know it wasn't left here deliberately? Got a key. Not only is this ladder perfect for climbing down, I can also use it for climbing up. Lucky me. Uh, if I couldn't, I'd be in big trouble right now. I'd be doomed. Whee! I like how the scorpion's got a little cowboy hat on. He's not missing a hat. He got a hat. They didn't steal his hat. Got your pickaxe. You mentioned you want a pickaxe, right? Sure did. I have one here if you'd be willing to trade for the shovel. Ooh, I'd love that. Thanks. I could also trade for a nice dinner. Just you and I. Uh, I'll take this shovel for now. Offers open. Maybe after I've solved the case. Okay. You shouldn't say that, but... Your attention is never, you should, you should be saying never. You should give, you give him hope. You shouldn't give him hope, man. Hmm. I think we have everything for, uh, our lobster pal. I hope he didn't do it. Oh. So adorable. I don't think he did it, so. No problem. Suspicious one is the mole, of course. Mm. 
Hmm, I definitely talked to everybody. Time to go up to the graveyard. The key fits in here just fine, but I'll wait till Lobster Cop gives me the okay to open it. Ah. So, are you finished? Huh? Did you find all the things I asked for? Yep. Ah, great initiative. Let's take a look. A map of the crime scene. That looks like a map of the graveyard. Well, that could be it, but we'll have to wait and see. A tool capable of aiding criminal activity. Ooh, a shovel. Hmm? I think you could be right, detective. A key that will lead us to a clue. That sure looks like a key to me. An idea where it could lead? A meal for the number one best detective. Ah, thank you very much. As the number one best detective, the stew is clearly for me. Would you look at that? The rookie came through. Nice work, detective. Thank you, lobster cop. You go ahead and check out the crime scene. I'll be right behind. I just have some quick business to attend to. I can do that. I'll take that meal now, though. It's all yours. Enjoy. My, why, what, what business you got, buddy? Kind of interested. Intriguing. What games do I like to play? Oh, I play a bunch of different games. I'm an achievement slash trophy hunter, so I just go around and play a bunch of different games of all kinds of genres. And work on getting all the cool squares for them. All the JPEGs. Mmm, suspicious behavior, Lobster Cop. You weren't expecting me to actually find the stuff. Well, here goes nothing. Suspicious. 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 One of them is a darker color. Very suspicious. Favorite game's Mass Effect. Ooh, I haven't played that one. Wait, that one's green. That's really suspicious, too. I haven't played that one. It's in the backlog, though. Well, what's this? That's very suspicious. According to the map, this is where the hats are hidden. An odd crime, if you ask me. I wish I could figure out the motive of this crime. It doesn't make any sense. Oh well. I'll just dig these up and hope Lobster Cop has more information. Great! I found the hats. I'm sure everyone will be so relieved to have them back. I'll take them back to town. It sure is nice to have a simple resolution to this mystery. Got lost hats. That's right, simple resolution. That's right, that's right. GG, that's it. Everybody's hiding out. For the big announcement. Here comes the detective now. Just in time for the town meeting to begin. The first order of business is... Poem. Please read a poem. I'm gonna read the poem I did. Hello, I would like to read you my poem. This is my first time performing a poem, and I am nervous. Please do not laugh. Oh, wait, I'm out. I wouldn't do that. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal near the tracks. He finished quickly, smart and sure, and headed off to get some more. 
but just ahead, to his shock, there was Nessie from the lock. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover the thing had gone without a trace. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went to tell his friend Ned. Aww. That's, that's, a, that's a pretty enthusiastic applause for like 10 people. Three, four, five, six, uh, out to. Thank you for the poem. Next order of business. Crime solved. <laughs> I am pleased to announce I have recovered. I'll stop you right there, detective. I am pleased to announce I have found the culprit in the case of the missing hats. Are they gonna frame me? I worked hard to come to this conclusion, so I trust I will have your full attention as I go through the facts. Please pay attention. Earlier today, I had the pleasure of appointing Mason Mole the title of sheriff. Everybody likes this. Yes, this is a universally loved decision. Shortly after, the detective arrived. That's me. Quiet, please, detective. As soon as the detective arrived, I'm sure you all noticed your hats go missing. Yeah, they really are going to blame me. Uh-oh. Wait. It is with great sadness that I have to tell you this. The culprit of this crime, the hat-stealing monster of Cowboy County, is none other than the second best investigator, Frog Detective. Why he do this? Is he, he, he jealous of my other cases I solved? I can't believe this. Wait, what? I have been presented a piece of evidence by our very own Mason Mole that ties the detective to the crime. Not convenient. What evidence? This. What? Where did this photoshopped picture come from? Oh, wait. They took this picture right when I unburied the hats, right? Then they, like, photoshopped some angry eyebrows on there or some shit. No, this was a mistake. I was digging up the hats because I'd found their location. Then why do you look so mischievous? I don't. Someone has drawn eyebrows on me. I don't even have eyebrows. You have to admit, detective, you have a big motive. A motive? What? You've come into a town that prides itself on hats. It's a well-known fact that you cannot wear hats. Weird head shape. Yes, thank you, Sheriff Mason Mole. Because of your weird head shape. But I don't mind if other people wear hats. It seems to me you do, Detective. Why else would you steal the hats and hide them where nobody would ever find them? But I didn't, I swear. Tell it to the judge. What judge? Hmm, that's a good point. We haven't seen a crime like this in our society before. We'll have to invent a punishment. I have an idea. What is it? Bad room. What? That's less of an idea, more of an ominous concept. I will elaborate. We put Frog Detective in the bad room. For punishment of crime. No! Can't believe this. An excellent, if shocking idea, Sheriff Mason Mole. 
We will construct the bedroom at once. I already made it. It is in my office. Oh, well, in that case... Detective, I sentence you to one year of living in the bad room. This is the worst day of my life. Probably true for him. What was his worst day before that? Getting the wrong flavor of ice cream at the store? Oh no! How do we get out of this one? Uh -oh. Bad room. Let's sit to the bad room. Bad, bad room. There's not even a bathroom. Where, where am I going to the restroom? Is there's no bars on the window? No! Just want to go home to slip. <laughs> really? Come on now. Where the air is fresh and life goes on. They're just trolling me, right? They better be. For far too long. So here I go. <laughs> singing. Those credits. I'm not the burglar. <laughs> Just wanna go home to slippery pond <laughs> where the air is fresh and life goes on. Mm. I've been in here for far too long. They from what? So here I go. Just singing. A random episode. Why this specific episode? Took my time in learning how to be the best. So what comes now? Can't remember not doing right. But while I'm here, maybe I might. There's still no bars on the window. Go for it, man. I'm just got break out right now. I'm framed. Wait, I get to have my laptop? That seems like a lot of freedom. I'm gonna write a new blog. My loyal frog rock blog readers. Oh, do I have to press the button? Oh, okay. It's hour number one of my time in the bad room. It's only been an hour? I know that I am innocent. 
Unfortunately, because the number one best detective put me here, nobody will believe me. That's what you get for being second best. I'm not sure anybody reads my frog blog anymore because of my alleged crimes. But if you are reading, thank you. It's been one hour! They probably don't even know yet. I hope to prove my innocence in the case of the hat theft and return to being as good of a detective as I can be. I'm not sure why Sheriff Mason Mull has framed me. But my hope is that it's all just one big misunderstanding, as is the case with most of the mysteries I'm involved in. It would really hurt my feelings to know that he did this on purpose. I am grateful that Lobster Cup has given me access to a computer so I can continue to write my blog posts. Very generous of Though, I must say, I'm not sure if I'll have much to write about here. You're like, wow, look at the ceiling up there. It looks very pretty. Let's count the tiles. Thank you for reading. You're welcome. I totally want to take a picture of this uh, URL. Let's check later or see if it's the actual website. Might be. Frog Detective X. This is terrible. I can't believe this. What's going on? I'm reading the latest frog blog blog post. I was so excited to see how the detective solved the mystery in Cowboy County. But I can't believe it. The detective has been framed for a crime. Crime is real? Let's not jump to any conclusions here. Of course, sorry. What do we do, Mo? Um, we get back to our science work? I can't possibly concentrate on our scientific discoveries in these conditions. Mo, I have to help the detective. How are you going to do that? It's like, ugh. I'll have to solve the mystery myself. And we're playing his game now. Wait, what? Uh, get the little Sailor Mooned up in here. After the lab, Mo. I'm not coming back until I've proven the detective's innocence. Oh, Mystery Monkey is so cool. Mm. I can't believe this has happened. A little bit later. Can I help you? Hi, Supervisor. My name is Mystery Monkey. We talked on the phone a while back about the mystery of the haunted island. Of course. How could I forget? It's good to see you. Likewise. I realize this is highly unusual, but I'm here about one of your detectives. Ah, uh, is it Lobster Cop? No. Investigator Eel? No. Inspector Iguana? The Incredible Sandy Moth? P.I.? No, none of those. Uh... I'm here about Frog Detective. Oh, of course. Our second best detective. 
Well, the detective isn't around right now. I sent my top two, two top investigators to help over in Cowboy County. You haven't heard? Heard what? The detective has been framed for a crime over in Cowboy County. That's terrible news. How can you be sure it's a setup? The story doesn't add up, and I know Frog Detective would never do something so horrible as steal the town's hats. Well, there is a clear motive there. I know, I know, but it's so out of character. Even if the detective is guilty, the punishment is really harsh. The detective has been sent to the bad room. Oh no. He's like, what's that? What's the bad room? It's something that Sheriff Mason Mole invented. Mason Mole? That name sounds familiar. Oh? I've seen him around before, just sort of loitering around the offices. Loitering, you say? I remember a kind of flash shady guy hanging around on Martin's Island back when we were there to investigate the ghost noises. That's the guy who kept disappearing while I looked over. He arrived shortly before the detective, but I didn't get a chance to catch his name. He didn't even say hello. When I saw his photo on the frog blog, I knew right away something was amiss. Great detective skills, mystery monkey. I know it's a big ask, but do you mind if I snoop around in Frog Detective's office to look for clues? Be my guest. A lot. I must solve this new mystery. Who is this Mason Moe? Hurrah. We got monkey. New playable character unlocked. I suppose so. I shouldn't snoop in Lobster Cop's office unless I really have to. How's that? I wasn't there before. Blue detecting powder. How convenient. I'll just spread this powder all around and take another look for clues. Got clue detected powder. Detect clues, huh? What? Look at this. you believe this? Yeah, if this powder worked like this IRL... No more crime, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm trying to like do the powder and not look at the door. As soon as I get too close to the door though. The stuff comes back. Very suspicious. Uh -oh. Interesting. Who's kissing the pictures? Ah, that's a trophy. Yes! We're out. Find some secret kisses. <laughs> Who's doing that, huh? Huh? It could 
shouldn't be. Gosh. Uh, oh my gosh. Can you believe this? Gotta check them up. Totally a real ghost. That's right. I just fries right. What could lobster cop be hiding? Hmm. Got the notes. A copy of the detective's notebook? Uh Lobster Cop and Mason Mole? <clears throat> A note. It reads Hello, Lobster Cop. It is me, your bestie forever, Mason Mole. I have done what you asked. It was not easy to trail the detective unnoticed, but I think I did a great job. I fear that your suspicions are correct and that Frog Detective is on the right track to overtaking your position as number one best detective. If you keep pretending to solve mysteries instead of actually solving them, the supervisor will eventually notice. Though, I've taken the detective's notebook. Inside are some great insights to how the detective works through a case. Maybe you can read and learn. But it may not be enough. As the detective gets better and better, your position as number one is threatened. I think it's time to enact the plan you came up with. It's devious and mean and not very nice. But if you want to be the best, you have to get rid of the best. Or you could just not be lazy and solve cases instead of pretending. This can't be true. Lobster cop? The number one best detective. A fraud? I need to get the supervisor and head to the I need to get to the supervisor head to Cowboy County. There has been a terrible misjustice. This is right about where in the movie he gets caught. <laughs> You should find out the crime, and it's like, no, oh, no, no, we got you. No, 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 no. They're both walking in there together. They're like, we got this figured out. Oh, really? Hello. Hello? 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 Why are you all closed? Hello, banditos. Howdy, folks. What brings you to Cowboy County so late? This is our turf, so you better have a good reason. We don't want any trouble. We're here about our good friend, the Frog Detective. Ah, the duality of Frog. How can one be so kind, poetic, and thoughtful, also be a stealer of all our hats? A frog's so pretty, so alluring, and yet... I really trusted Frog Detective. That snake... I can't go on a date with a criminal. It's just not me. That's the outlaw. There we go, there we go. Aren't you a bandit? Outlaw! So you live outside the law? Well, when there's no laws, it makes it pretty easy. It doesn't matter anyway. Frog detective is innocent! Eh, sure. We all saw the photo. Those furrowed brows tell the whole story. Frog Detective doesn't even have eyebrows. That's right. Ah, is 
So those were stolen too. No, you're mistaken. Mystery Monkey found all the evidence. Who's Mystery Monkey? That's me. You may have read my comments before on Frog Detective's Frog Blog. I'm a pretty active user. Blogs are still a thing? No, right. Regardless, you say it was a mistake? Not so much a mistake, a setup. I have reason to believe Sheriff Mason Mull and Lobster Cop coordinated the takedown of our beloved frog detective. What? That's so messed up. Who would do that to such a beautiful frog? Someone very jealous, I'm afraid. How can we help? If you could point us in the direction of where Frog Detective is being held, that would help a lot. Easy. Sheriff Mason Mull has the detective locked up in Bad Room, at the back of his sheriff's office. If you're quiet, you should be able to sneak in without trouble. Thanks for your help, bandits. We're outlaws. My bad. Totally different. Totally different. I forgot what we were just talking about. That's right. Are you for real? Yeah, seriously? Seriously. Outlaws, be kind. We all forget things sometimes. Not Ronda Dynamite. Mystery Monkey, you were just telling us that you want to know where Frog Detective is being locked up. Head to Sheriff Mason Mole's office. It's the building with the frogs out front. Or the flags out front. <laughs> Thank you. Fra fla f flags, frogs, f f f f f say. Dang it. I was hoping they they would diss me further and be like, you forgot again? How many times are you going to forget? No, it's the same second time. So, can't believe this. But looks like he's tuckered out after another day of being a mean, nasty liar. I won't wake him. Why not? I won't poke him. Me, I can't poke him. How about it? will be Still got his magnifying glass, huh? Mystery monkey? Supervisor? What are you doing here? I didn't know I was allowed visitors in bad room. Or that anyone would want to visit me. We're here to bust you out. What? Mystery monkey has proof you were framed. I knew it. Sheriff Mason Mole was up to something. Not just him, detective. I'm sorry to tell you that I believe Lobster Cop and Mason Mole planned this all along. It can't be. Lobster Cop is number one best detective. Why would he try to frame me? It's hard to know for sure until we ask, but it looks like Lobster Cop has been dealing with a bad case of jealousy. Green with envy, one might say. Envious? Of who? Uh, why are you so dense? I thought you were a good detective, man. Why are you so dense? You, detective. It's not possible. It's time to shift your understanding of the world, detective. Not everyone is out to do a good job and solve mysteries like you. I simply can't believe it. Well, let's wait until dawn and confront Lobster Cop and Mason Mole once and for all. The sun is coming up as we speak. I'll call a town meeting. Gosh, can you believe this? What is the meaning of this? Only I get to call town meetings. I have called this town meeting for a very important purpose. I have some news about the hat stealing case. But it's closed. I solved it. Is that so, Lobster Cop? Supervisor? What are you doing here? You didn't see him till now? 
Please give your attention to Mystery Monkey for just a moment. Thank you, Supervisor. Thank you, Talon, for meeting us here on short notice. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have an important question to ask you. What? How long have you and Lobster Cop been scheming to bring down Frog Detective? Oh, boy. Huh? What? I... This is ridiculous. Lobster Cop, I found the secret drawer in your office. You can't just go through my office. That's a crime. Please stop trying to invent crimes. Crime is not real. As I was saying, I found your secret drawer. I found the letter that Mason Mull wrote to you. I knew I shouldn't have detailed my schemes on paper. Sheriff Mason Mull has been tailing the detective since I called for help with the mystery of the haunted island. As the lead scientist on the island at the time, I can confirm I had several reported sightings of Mason Mull sneaking around like a slippery snake. Nate, why didn't you tell me? It feels like someone sneaking around the island is kind of relevant to that case. I was too starstruck. In any case, I contacted my friend Carlos, who runs the shop over in Warlock Woods. He also confirmed a sighting of Mason Mole hiding behind his shop. What? I never... Yeah, I saw you. Oh, but you did. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have reason to believe you were hired by Lobster Cop to follow the detective. No way. Oh, I... No, that's not... I... I smile no more, are you? Oh, am I supposed to feel bad for him? This is all a mistake. No, Mason Mole. It's time for us to come clean. Frog Detective, ever since you moved in next door to my office, I've felt threatened. You were so methodical in your case solving. I would read your blogs and go green with envy. I've been number one best detective for so long that I grew complacent. Every time the supervisor had a mystery to solve, I began to believe I wouldn't be able to do it and passed it on to you. I just began to pretend to solve mysteries, hoping the supervisor wouldn't notice. I was embarrassed at myself and angry at you. Angry? But, Lobster Cop, your investigative abilities far outweigh mine. Maybe they used to, but I became so focused on my own shortcomings that my work suffered. Mason Mole was there for me. Having friends is so important. But we were a bad influence on each other. I needed work, and so I suggested to Lobster Cop that I help take you down. And I had the perfect plan. I'm very subtle, you see. I'm ashamed that it got to that point. Instead of asking you for help or swallowing my pride, I let my jealousy get the best of me. How did you frame the detective? It was a joint effort. When I arrived in town, I sneakily stole all the hats and quickly buried them in the graveyard. I wrote a map to where they were buried for the detective to find. But I didn't find the map. Susie did. I didn't execute it very well, I admit. Once you had the resources to dig up the hats and Lobster Cop had a clear alibi, I waited in place to take your photo. Wait, what was Lobster Cop's alibi? I was eating a delicious meal. Of course. I'm ashamed to say that I also drew evil eyebrows on the photo of you. But what I don't understand is why you had to put me in bad room. Framing me was bad enough, but you made me made a whole room for me to be trapped in. That's so unusually cruel. I'm inclined to agree. Putting somebody into a room, whether they did a naughty thing or not, seems really harsh and unfair. How is someone supposed to grow from their mistakes if they're just sitting around trapped? I really hate that room. Bad room is my idea. I'm sorry. It's a terrible idea. I realize this now. My bad. My bad? I demand recompense. Lobster cop. Mason Mole. You have done something very serious and mean. Something similar to a crime. Our society doesn't have strategies in place to deal with things like this. Are you going to send us to bad room? Absolutely not! That's messed up! No, but I think there needs to be consequences. Lobster Cop, 
you have abused your power in ways that I cannot begin to comprehend. Mason Mull, you have enabled and encouraged this behavior. I'm mad at you both. We deserve that. I think an appropriate course of action is to remove Lobster Cop from the detective agency. I think you should change career paths for your own good. Maybe do something that helps contribute to society. A cop no longer. Okay. I will hand in my badge and gun. Gun! There's guns in this game? Wait, why do you have a gun? I didn't even know they were real. That's really messed up. It's not like I ever used it. Hey! I gave Lobster Cop the gun. Okay, well, yes, please hand that in. I have an idea of what you could do as a job, L Lobster Cop. Lobster, Lobster, just now? Oh? Why don't you talk to Barney about joining the post office? Lobster Mailman? Lobster Posty has a nice ring to it. Can I join too? I don't see why not. Well then, it's settled. Lobster Posty. Posty Mason Mole. Do you have anything to say to the detective? Yes. The subtitle changed. That's about right. I'm sincerely sorry for what I did to you, detective. It was mean, rude, evil, and not nice. I don't expect you to forgive me. But I hope, with time, I can prove myself as a great postie and right some of the wrongs I've done. Detective, I acted poorly and encouraged behavior that I shouldn't have. I'm going to channel that energy into being a postie, and please rest assured you will never have a late parcel again. Thank you both for the apology. I accept it. Yay! Hey, now that that's all sorted, I have an announcement to make. Oh? Lobster Cop is no longer the number one best detective. After some impeccable detective work on this case, I'm really pleased to announce the new number one best detective. Congratulations to... Uh, um, Mystery Monkey, right? I knew it! Mystery Monkey! I knew it. Know what? Wow! Congratulations, Mystery Monkey! What an achievement! I can't believe it! Thank you so much! I'll have to shut down my research facility so that I can investigate full-time! You can move into my old office. There's already a bunch of trophies in there for you to keep. Great! What an honor to work next door to the number one best detective! Again! You don't care about not being number one? This calls for a celebration! Bonnie, can you help prep the saloon for a dance party? Can do! Oh, and Lobster Posty. Posty Mason Mole? No. Yeah. You're invited too. Party time! Party time, party time, party, party, party time. And brought in the same mm, crustaceans. I got some moves. Back to work with you. Alright. Hope it goes quickly and smoothly. Good luck. This was so good. Aww. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a pretty cool game. I made you, I destroy you. So, so be.
That's the worm playing piano with his face. Loading, loader, loader. Two weeks later, Ooh, an epilogue. Hmm, got this one now. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Hey, Frog Detective! Yes, Mystery Monkey? Happy birthday! He literally just pasted his face over the lobster one on the painting in the back. Didn't get his own painting. Or portrait or whatever. Thanks so much! That is it. I know it's your birthday, but I have a really difficult case that I just can't crack. But you're the but you're number one best detective. I know, but this one is a doozy. Could you help me out? Of course, I'll be right there. Really walks two feet away. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, really paid it, did it all, all, huh? Ah, okay. All right. Did all of them. He totally did all those. Hey, detective. Well, well, well. If it isn't Mystery Monkey 49. Good to see you, Frog Detective 03. What? Just a joke. Are there two other frog detectives? I don't know. I was just joking. You've got me worried. That really stresses me out. Frog detective one, frog detective two, now frog detective three? How do you think I feel with 48 other mystery monkeys? Hmm, that's a good point. Anyway, thanks for meeting me here. The case information is in the other room. Just head down the hallway and I'll meet you there. Will do. Let's see. This room. Oh, it's a surprise party, huh? Oh, wow, what's everyone doing here? Oh, detective, we all appreciate everything you've done for us. Yeah, our town has never been so peaceful. All thanks to you. Same with my island. I haven't heard a ghost in ages. I mean, technically you never heard a ghost. We heard it's your birthday, so we all arranged to come here and surprise you. It worked. That's not all, Detective. We got you a present. It should be coming any minute now. I ordered it on Whizbay. Uh, who delivered this special birthday delivery? Is that for me? Open it up! Ha! A tiny hat. Happy birthday! Wait, what is this? That's easy, detective. It's a hat. I can't wear hats due to my head shape. Why don't you just try it on? That, 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 fine. Would you look at that? It's a hat that fits. No, just had to be small enough. I'll always cry. If you're playing frog detective, you're welcome. 
love making these games for you. We are so grateful that so many people have spent time with our silly story. Oh, confetti. I got some of that too. Whoa. Well, there's Toast Science, Discovery Jam, Love Bow, and Mis Mystery Booking. Collaborating on our latest potion, Lola and Bandy. We're celebrating Craig's acceptance to the Ghost Spotters League. See you soon. Love from Bonnie, Craig, and Susie. Oh no! Finally got a sponsorship deal with Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth Trademark. Excel Fresh X. Family reunion, so much wool was shed. Gross from Noodle and Barney. Thanks for our date. I had so much fun. Exo sure. I went on a date! Oh my gosh. So handy having a muse right next door to the saloon. Regards, Pistol. Aha! I can't tell you what I'm up to, but it's very cool and secret. Eat after reading, Barney. He's a top secret agent now. I'm the sheriff now. I didn't even have to beat anyone up from Run to Dynamite. Yay! I just had to fill out your resume. Finally convinced Carlos to take a holiday. Best Ralph. Damn. That's, that's an accomplishment. We're not the same guy. Larry and Lobster Posty. My first day of cowboy school. Dusty, huh? He's a cowboy now. Employee of the month at the post office. Thanks, Mason Mole. No, that magnet thing actually does work. I was wondering how it would work. It's because the boat is metal. Thanks for the magnet. I attached it to this boat and went super fast. Warm regards, Koala. There's so many shells down here. Well wishes from the deep blue sea orbit. Hmm. We performed together at the latest dance contest. We came third. Fidley and Martin. Third! I call it shenanigans. You busy signing autographs right now? Talk later, Barry XO. Whoa, she became a star after all? Uh oh, what'd you do? You broke your leg, except for my phone, Dot. How'd you do that? How did you break your leg? I literally have not left the hot tub since you were here from Victor. Damn, man, you're super wrinkly. Finally met my hero, Lobster Co I mean, Lobster Posty. Much love, Susan. Wow. We and huh? We made it. Juju. Humblebee, huh? Case F. Notes. One of those. This S look sound looks like it's gonna be a music soundtrack, maybe. Hmm, which sticker should I pick, and where should they go? I mean, we're fine with what we already have. I can readjust it, huh? If I want to, but I'm fine with what it's got. It's gonna be a music CD, right? Thomas, our sales for this business quarter are not high enough. Why are people not purchasing our computer games for the holiday season? Our products need to be more commercial. There's no time to waste. We need something that the kids will connect to. Kids like scooters, right? Those are trendy, right? As we know, I am much too lazy to make a game on such short notice. I say we send this to an outsourcing company. Let the consumers think that Worm Club made it. Those fools will buy anything we sell them. Ha ha ha! 
We're going to be rich. This year, our Christmas tree is going to be significantly larger than any Christmas tree we've ever had before. Warm regards, Gracie. Mr. Grace, warning the tricks portrayed in this game are very dangerous and difficult and should not be attempted without proper training. Always wear proper safety gear, include the helmet. Wait, I did get to read the rest of it. Oh, the, the rest of it wasn't that important. It's like some bonus game, then? Our detective scooter. Oh my gosh. We must start. Do it. See that loading? Loading, 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 loading. Loading, 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 loading. Jump trick, big trick. Oh my gosh, this sounds real tough. It's probably just a skate park with the scooter you get. He's got his hat! A bunch of stickers on the scooter. Wow. Wow. Ow. I died. Me. Hello. Wow. Oh, good luck. Oh, there's like magnifying glasses to it. What? <laughs> Doing a pretty poor job of staying on the foot. All the air for the big trick sparrow. <laughs> ah. Break all the glass, oh my gosh. I just repaired midair. Oh my gosh. Let's try this again. Yeah Black. Look, I close to that. Oh, but this is a tough, this is a tough game. If I need to get a high score on this game, I might be doing. Get that magnifier glass. Yeah, but you did. It's tough. What the fuck? You guys have crazy skills. How the fuck you guys doing all that? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. I guess we gotta look at the uh, achievements now. Let's see what we got left to get. See if there's one for this game. See if I have to actually get good or something. I got 8k. That surprised me. I got 12 out of 18. What? Hmm. I 
Nossa! Let's see. It doesn't look like there's one for this game. I think we're good on this. Oh. That's tough. I don't think I've ever beat those guys' score. Red is for those, right? and it just loops. Just the guts. the uh, achievements, six achievements I missed her in chapter two. Mm. 
that's the way they laugh. Hmm. Look at the graveyard breaking. Yeah, that's definitely just repeats. It's a cool mini game though. I got my list of rest of achievements to work on. I have to start from the beginning. Ooh, I can choose scenes. One of them, uh, there was one for giving the, one of those dirty paws to the guy in the hot tub. That's crazy. Apparently, I can hold LB and RB to uh, fast forward text as well. Hmm. Another one for use of getting three of the money and try buying something up. Yeah, that's pretty fast. Lots of money! Let's give up the pot. Hello, Victor. I have a pie for you. Detective, where did you find this pie? I found it on the ground. Sorry, Detective. You may have to speak up. These hot tub jets are mighty loud. I found this pie on the ground over there. Detective! I do not want to eat a ground pie. I have made a mistake. I'd say maybe even two. Two mistakes? Yes, one mistake for giving me a dirty pie, and another mistake for giving me a pie that does not belong to you. That's right, detective. Though I am visiting from out of town, I know that this is one of Mandy's pies. They are delicious. If you just happen to find it on the ground, it cannot be yours to give away. So I cannot accept it. You're right, Victor. I have made two mistakes. I am sorry. And I am sorry. That's okay, detective. But I'll be watching you. You should return this pie to Mandy. Okay, I'll do that. Gross! What were you thinking? I don't think I could fast forward this part. Gosh, you can believe this. Couple of hours over now.
Well, this game took a bit longer than I thought. Still got a bit more to go! I got some monies! You can be a big spender! I'm gonna have to talk to everybody again, though. I'm glad we can fast forward now. Don't have all your pies yet. Let's see, where were the other one? One near the entryway. I think I have three though. Just about everybody. Open up a Chibus. Yeah! We missed like four in this chapter and two in chapter three. A pie here somewhere. Well, we got a last pie. Where was the last one? I'm doing a team up mop up now. That's what we're doing. Where was the last one? Was it in a pot somewhere? <laughs> hmm. Good thing there's nothing actually wrong with his eye. That'd be tragic. Hmm. 
Ah, there it was. Do 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 do. Already did that pie one. Should be good to give her all her paws. suspicious. They just silly. Mm-hmm. Apparently, one thing I didn't notice is I could go back and talk to him and try to buy stuff with the money. There's an achievement for it. Whoa, this picture is three money. I have three money. Would you like to buy it? Yes. I would like to buy this picture with my three money. It's all yours. You got a naughty pick, huh? Uh-oh. Grease Buck Bruckster. What? What? Hello, detective. I'm sorry to interrupt you. As you may remember, I'm Grace. I made this game with my studio, Worm Club. I was tracking your progress when I noticed that you spent your money on a picture. You've really complicated things for me. See, there's only five money in the game. In order to solve the mystery, you need all five money. But you've spent three money. So, now what? If I was anyone else, I'd end the game here. However, I'm very generous and kind. I'm going to give you another three money so you can solve the mystery. This comes from my own pocket, so please, don't spend it on anything that isn't relevant to the story. <gasps> I want to buy more now. I'll let you get back to it. And yes, you can keep the picture. The three money! I know, I'm a big sped there. <laughs> Wait, that's not the dog picture. I was expecting the dog picture. Meh. Can I buy another one? Dang. That's no fun. Ah, oh, it's hot. It's hot. Hmm, we got the party hat, so we got a rug.
building stuff. It's all better now. Look who's done everybody else. This way, obviously. Dang, it doesn't even have any cool text, no dialogue, no nothing. Can I even call him back again? Nope, can't call him back. Check, make sure nobody got a new dialogue. Oh, we're ready to out. <laughs> I didn't add anything new. Doing. 
Sure looks like it's there, buddy. I did get the dot photo. <laughs> A lot of pies and Doritos. Oh, blah, blah. I gotta say the evil guy did it for this one. I'm totally. Well, I solved the mystery. Who was it? It was... Evil guy. Who? Huh? Evil guy is Lola's nemesis. He is a very... Evil... Guy. Yeah. He snuck in last night and destroyed everything. Because he hates Lola. Yeah. Unfortunately, because he is made of slime, he got away before I could apprehend him. Yes, yeah, so unfortunate. However, Lola has since cast a very special spell that will make sure he never returns. Wow, evil guy sucks. Yeah, I'm so sorry he did that to you, Lola. It's okay. At least it was nobody here, right? Right. Blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry I couldn't catch evil guy. But now we know that Lola is safe and everyone is happy that she's here. Yeah. I'm sorry that he caused such a big mess. Really irresponsible if you ask me. I'm sure he feels really bad about it. And would want you to forgive him. Isn't he evil? Yeah, I thought he was evil. Oh, hey Barney! Hi! Yeah, he's evil. Evil guy. Well, case solved. Well done, detective. Thanks. Did we get the parade started? We didn't have time to fix up the decorations. Sorry, Lola. I don't mind at all. I'm just happy to be here. Let's party! Can't believe the lie. Can't believe this. We still partied anyway. It's crazy. Whoa! Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. My achievements break. Is that was that was that was. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. We, could, we could test this real quick. Not what? We didn't get it. Did we? Do, 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 do. Uh, oh, I don't have them yet. Maybe the lying one pops after this, this credit. I didn't play my notebook on it. I borked them. It did. Oh wait, that's the one for completing the notebook. Uh, about the fiber one. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Fiber. They just popped later than I thought they would. That's not true! That's not true! That's not true! Ra 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 ra. I'm sure yep, no thanks. Hmm, so, last two. Trying to break into the graveyard with the, uh, scooter. Oh, okay. And, uh, one of the ones I missed was trying to give the haunted photo to the painter guy. Sneaky, sneaky. This part will be much shorter. We're about to finish this game and got some cool final achievements. It'll be cool. Oh, bah, 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 bah. We just gotta talk to Bonnie first. Then we can do the haunted photos or something. Hey, maybe I, do I need to do a... Greg first? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I can still do ghost photos. the notebook for this chapter, just the last chapter, I guess. Enough to joke around.
Time for the spooky. There are ghost book. Scared like ghost pick. I found a photograph for you to paint. Oh, really? Thank you. Can I take a look? Sure. Here it is. That is the most terrifying photo I've ever seen. Why would you show me this? It's awful. Oh, no. Painting this would feel like an actual crime. Like, I would ask you to investigate me for painting this. Oh, that's no good at all. Please take this away from me. I will. Sorry. Oh, did photo. Try to give away a photo. It didn't work out. It didn't work out. Alright, one final achievement. One more achievement. For trying to break in through the graveyard with our scooter. Uh, we got to do some cool tricks for the rest of the game. We ready? We ready to finish this cool game? Let's see if we can break in. Ah! Here we go! Graveyard break it. Oi, stop that! What I want my achievements! We did it, we did it, we finished the game, we got it, hooray! I might do some cool wheelies or something. No! no I might do some cool tricks! Oh man, that, that's not a cool button! No, can't do it. I wanted to do some sick tricks, so all I do is press other buttons. Wow, we did it, we did it, we finished the game, hooray, hooray, we did it. As you can, as you can see, as you can see, we now have all 18 achievements. Oh, yeah, we did it, we're done, let's go. We got it done. We got it done. Very cute game. I enjoyed it. How high up can we get her? Can we leave and take this uh, fence back out? Dang, we cannot. But the, what, what about going up here? Invisible wall. Right, let me go up. Nope. It doesn't let me take that one. Ah. How about this one? Ah. 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 So diabolical, so cruel. Very cool though. Very cool, very cool. 
very cool game. I enjoyed it. A little bit longer to get everything that I thought, but uh, that's because I'm like reading all dialogue. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> well done now. My crazy Name's GG. Name's GG. Oh, you got like a, a special unique credits from here. You want without dancing. Mm. It's like the credits for all three together, right? Doing episode one, Haunted Island. And you know what that means coming up next. Two and three. Game completed. Some cool stuff. Wonder if you can LB the RB to fast forward. Oh. It's got all three. What do you think, Cap? I'm curious about. Curious uh, if these guys made the uh, uh, painting game I did a while back. Yeah, cheek recolor for tails. So this is one of the paintings. Are they like the same devs. Ah, oh, different devs. Ah, uh, must have been pals, though. Or some of the people who worked on it worked on the other one. Good time though. Five stars. You know what's up next, all right? Who's up next is sleep time. It's 7 30. Jeez. Done 100. Yeah, we're all done. You know what that means, right? 
which means this is not video games for today. It's time to go sleep. Just finished work too, yeah. Woo! I gotta go to sleep. I'm gonna get my rest. I'm gonna get a good pump. Not right, cat. You sleeping over there looking cute. <laughs> GG. Oh, I think they just loop. Oh, what? The entire mystery? Well, there's like separate credits just for the entire bundled package that we play. I see, I see. I thought I was looping for a second. That's right, we vibing. Oh, we got a cute frog sticker for sticking through to the end. Well, it's looping now. It is! See that? No looping credits! No looping credits! GG. That was a hip and hop and pop and bop and stream. It was very cool, very profile, very awesome. Cool game. Enjoy. Thanks for chilling, Hermit, popping in and stuff. Thanks for chilling, Valets. And like, everybody else stop by tonight. King, Jado, Wolf, Boris, anybody else I forgot? Boss Lurkers, everybody. Y'all take care of yourselves, all right? I'm gonna go sleep now. I plan to be back later with some uh, Yakuza Kiwami later tonight. And uh, we'll see if we can finish some more mini games challenges. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We're totally prepared this time, right? Mm, we'll see. Until then, though. Good night, everybody. Sleep tight, no bed bugs. Take care of yourselves. Have a good day, night, whatever it is, wherever you are.